Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good evening, gentlemen. May I take your order? Yes, you may. Наш видеофильм очень мало похож на типичный учебник. Он сделан в увлекательной форме игрового кино. Его герои, двое симпатичных парней и девушка, случайно знакомятся, становятся друзьями и... Но вы сможете узнать обо всем сами. Те ситуации, в которых они оказываются, близки к привычным бытовым, известным каждому из нас. В фильме раскрывается 10 разговорных тем, звучат необходимые в повседневном общении фразы и оборудования. Есть ли лучший способ пополнить свой лексический запас? Действующие лица фильма — непрофессиональные актеры. Перед вами — студенты из англоязычных стран, настоящие носители языка. И хотя действие разворачивается по продуманному сюжету, все беседы и диалоги импровизируют. Вы слышите живую, спонтанную, американскую речь. Крупные планы дают возможность понаблюдать за артикуляцией, отработать произношение. Если суть диалога к фильму не совсем понятна, можно заглянуть в учебник. В конце даются все тексты диалогов. Кроме того, в учебнике есть еще и 20 диалогов на другие темы, 212 идиоматических выражений с русским переводом и 40 грамматических правил. Не забудьте и об аудиокассетах. Это необходимое дополнение к видеофильму и учебнику. Курс не ставит жестких рамок в изучении материала. Вы можете начать с любой его составной части – видео или аудиокассет, или учебника, как угодно, в зависимости от степени ваших знаний и способностей. Говорит Крэг Симс, американский филолог. Этот видеокурс универсален. Он может быть использован владеющими английским языком на любом уровне, исключая, конечно, начальный. Непонятные моменты видеофильма можно повторять еще и еще раз. Вот если бы и в жизни так. После каждого эпизода предлагается ответить на контрольные вопросы для самопроверки. Итак, увидеть, услышать, прочитать. Основной обучающий принцип нашего курса — комплексный подход к темам. Поэтому курс и состоит из трех взаимодополняющих частей — видео и аудиокассет, и учебника. Каждый может вынести необходимое и полезное для себя, воспользовавшись нашим курсом американского варианта английского языка.
Hello, my name is Craig Sims, and on behalf of VGM Productions and Marina Firm, I would like to welcome all of you to hopefully what will be an exciting, interesting, and educational experience. The reason that we've made this film vary. First, we realize that there is a deficit of English language movies in this country. And further, those that do make it in are wholly dubbed into Russian, making it all but, all but impossible to grasp English language au natural. Second, the English that is taught in schools here is not necessarily the way that we, the native speakers of English, use sentences or phrases. And third, the text that we designed for this movie was designed to give the appropriate grammatical lessons that are important. So from text to text, you will notice that we try to give different lessons. Fourth, the actors, or perhaps more appropriately, the students that you will meet, are just like you or I. They hail from all parts of the English-speaking world from Canada, from Great Britain, and from America. What I want to do is give them a basic text, but then allow them to improvise, thus giving you not just a culture-bound version of the English language, but an idea how English is spoken and the variations in a particular English-speaking country. Fifth, and perhaps most importantly, the dialogue the conversation was designed to aid you in doing the things essential in living in an English-speaking country. Whether it be ordering food at a restaurant, perhaps getting to a hospital, or even finding an address. Hopefully, after you view this film, you will have a better idea of how to do all of these things. I lose one more set on this <laughs> okay. machine, I'm gonna blow uh, it up. Take it easy, man. Don't worry about it. Jeez, I love gambling, but I hate losing. You know what you mean. Hi there. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. I noticed the two of you are really good friends. You yeah, could say that. We hang out, speak English. Where are you from? From Canada. From Canada too. Interesting. Also notice you like to play a lot. Yeah, but we like to win a whole lot more. You notice you guys weren't too pleased about losing. That's life. <laughs> I yeah. suppose it is. But I have a proposition for you. How'd you like to do something that's a lot of fun? We like playing. Always interested in fun. A little bit of money. We're trying to make films here. Mm -hmm. We're trying to make a film to teach Russian English. And I have two leading roles up. Mm -hmm. Would you be interested? Yeah, we could be. Um, is there any money involved? There's a little bit of money, but a lot of fun. Okay. Yeah, fun's good. Fun is almost as good as money, isn't it? <laughs> Just about. So what do you say? Why not? Yeah, why not? It sounds fun. Well, there you go. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thank you. I'm going to go and read anyway. I'm going to go and read. You're not going to go and read. I see that everybody knows one another. Yeah. 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 Well, this is what we're going to try to do. We're trying to make a film. We need actors to play some small parts. It's a film to teach Russian students English. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Poor things. What do you say? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Great. Let me introduce the two main actors. This is Peter. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? And this is Jim. Thank you. You know there are a lot of variations on the English language, and that's why we have different actors from different countries making the movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. You guys think it'll be a problem to make it? Mm -hmm. As long as they can understand us, it's fine. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I think we have a lot in common. <laughs> but you know, there's only a few words, you know, a few words which are different, but the basic structure is the same. Yeah. I've got an idea. Why don't we take a picture? 
Everybody, look at the camera and say cheese oh, on three. No. Do we have on to? Three. <laughs> you do. You do. On three. You do. Okay. One, two, three. Cheese. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, sir. Uh, I'm flying British Airways to Greenwood. Is this where I check my luggage? I need your ticket and your passport, sir. Okay. Here you go. Thank you. Do you want smoking or non-smoking seat? I'll have non-smoking, please. That's okay. Would you please to put your luggage on the scale? Sure. Just hang on a sec, though. It's pretty heavy. Really? Certainly it is. Mm. You have 40 kilos and you need to pay for 20 kilos of excess luggage. Okay, how much will that cost? Uh, $15. $15? Yes. There you go. That's okay. So, sir, here is your passport. Thank you. Your ticket. Thank you. Your baggage tag okay. with the check for your excess luggage. Okay. And the boarding pass. The Great. number of your seat is 32. Okay. So you have a flight 415 to Greenwood mm -hmm. and you have one hour and a half before the boarding. Okay. So you have enough time to have a drink before the flight. Great, that'd be excellent. Hey, thanks very much. Thanks for you, sir. And I wish you a good flight. Have a nice day. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Could you maybe tell me where the bar is? It's right outside those doors. Mm -hmm. Turn right and go up the stairs. You can't miss it. Okay, great. Thanks. And I have one other question. Do you know where I might find a departure timetable somewhere so that I know whether I have enough time to go to the bar before the flight to Greenwood leaves? Which flight are you on to Greenwood? That would be flight 415, British Airways. I'm on the same flight. No kidding. Yeah. And we have, oh, a good hour and a half Oh, that's fantastic. Listen, um, if you'd like to, I mean, since we're on the same flight, come upstairs with me, maybe have a drink, a beer, or a coffee before we go. I'd love to. I just have to go through the metal detector and customs and security okay. before I can do that. Sure. Well, if you're interested, then I'll run upstairs, I'll save a table, and I'll wait for you to join me. Oh, okay. It should be 20 minutes or so. And Great. By the way, my name's Frank Foster. Uh, Michael Coy. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. We'll meet, I'll meet you upstairs in 20 minutes or so. Okay. I'll see you then. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay, Bye-bye. This is a metal detector. Have you any metal? Uh, no, I don't, sir. Then pass right through. Okay. Ah, check your pockets again, sir. My keys. Ah, put them there. Uh, sorry about that, sir. That's all right. You'll need to go this way. Pass around again, please. Thank you. Right on through. Thank you. That's fine. You may have your keys. Thank you very much, sir. Right on to the gate. Thank you. Yes. Michael. Frank, how are you doing? Not too bad, how are you? Not too bad, I'm glad you made it up. Oh, uh, I'm 
barely made it down here after customs in that metal detector. No way. What happened? Walking through, all of a sudden, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> so what was it? Keys or money? Keys. Again, probably. Of course. Yeah. I've uh, had the same problem. I don't know how many times. It's incredibly embarrassing. Oh, I was embarrassed. There was a hundred people lined no. up. I didn't know what to do. So what was the security guard like? Did he make a federal case out of it, or was he pretty cool? Oh, he was a great guy. He took was the he? edge off. Yeah. That's good. That's uh, just good. one sec, Michael. Yeah. Excuse me? May I have a cup of coffee, please? Maybe some cream and sugar? Yes, please. So, what takes you to Greenwood, anyway? Well, I'm a real estate agent. Are you? And I've been living there for seven years now. Oh, really? Yeah. So, what's the market like right now in Greenwood? Oh, terrible. Terrible. Really? Country ride recession. It's uh, hard. It's impossible to sell a house right now. Yeah, I would imagine. Well, I don't know. Keep a stiff upper lip. I don't know much about the real estate game, but uh, I do know a recession can't last forever. I'm sure when it does, you'll get a lot of people around buying because there's a lot of beautiful homes in Greenwood. That's what I'm hoping. i got to pay off my own house and my car. Yeah? Do you have a family, too? No, as a matter of fact, I'm single. Well, that's one less expense you have to worry about. How about yourself? Um, yeah, I'm single, too. But the only thing that keeps me tied down is uh, my job, as a matter of fact. So, you know, nothing left over from your days in Greenwood? No old flames? Oh, well, you know, of course, every time I come back home, it's always in the back of my mind. A little thought that uh, I might run into an old flame or two and start something up again. No, it's never a serious consideration, but the possibility exists. Well, have you ever thought of uh, maybe resettling in Greenwood? Um, not on a permanent basis yet. I mean, um, everything goes well in New York, and that's where my job is, that's where my life is. But, you know, when I come back, it's, it's nice to stick around for a bit. I got lots of good houses for sale. Yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> no, but, you know, it's... For the fact of the matter, when I come home, I've, I have an uncle that still lives here, and he does a lot of traveling. So every time I come back home, I have full use of his place. Oh, well, that's tremendous. You don't have to pay for a hotel or anything yeah, like that. it's incredibly convenient, and it's a really nice home, too. So when was the last time you were in Greenwood? Oh, God, let me think. I didn't make it last year, so um, two or three years now, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how much it's changed. Um, two I or guess three years place hasn't changed that much. It's no? Same old place. Same old Greenwood. Is it really? Yep. Well, I guess I only get back once or twice a year, but when I left for the permanent basis, um, there was, what, 35, 40,000 people here? You know, how much has it changed since then? 75,000 people You're live there kidding. now. You're Incredible. You're kidding. When I get back here, it's, you know, I stick around the same area, so I re never really noticed that. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. You must have spent lots of time at the Vogue Theatre. Yeah, I did. Um, how's, I heard one of the last times I was here that they were contemplating tearing the building down. And it really it kind of disappointed me because it's a, it's a nice Victorian building. It had some character to the downtown. Well, Whatever happened with it. As a matter of fact, the Citizens Heritage Coalition bound together and they were able to stop the demolition of the building. Oh, yeah? Uh, it's going to be uh, fully preserved. Amazing. I'm really happy to hear that. So, I, well, know, it's, I was just going to ask, how much time do we have left? I think we better run there, just finish up these coffees and uh, run down to the gate. Yeah, We sure. only got about 20 minutes left before the plane leaves. All right, well, one last gulp and off we go. Okay. After you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Michael, hurry up. Okay, I'm coming. Well, I'm glad you already went through security. I'd hate to have to waste time there right now. Yeah, I know. It saves a bunch of time not doing that. I'm glad we had a bite to eat, too, because God knows I don't like that airline food. I know. I'm glad my stomach settled as well. Anyway, we should probably get going because uh, we don't want to miss it. We're all late already. Okay, what gate is it again? 21. Okay, let's go. Let's go.
Frank. Yeah, this is Michael. What's going on? Yeah, I know. Me too. Listen, I was wondering what you're doing tomorrow night. Nothing? That's fantastic. How would you like to go out to dinner? Okay, that's fine. Um, I was wondering if maybe you could name a place we could go. You know, I used to live around here, but that was a long time ago. And all the places I used to eat at have closed down. So, you know, it's your town now, so if you can come up with the name of a restaurant, then I'll call and make the reservations. Okay, who told you about that place? Yeah, smart lady, huh? Um, okay then. Listen, if it's okay with you, I will call and make the reservations for 7 o'clock and stop by and pick you up around 6. That's fine? Great, I'll see you tomorrow night then. Okay then, bye. Why is this a beautiful place? I haven't been here in so long. Well, it seems nice enough. You know, I've never been here. Where the lighting's changed, the brand new bar, tables and stools are brand new as well. Yeah, it looks comfortable. Anyway, what time is it? It's uh, 25 to 7. So that gives us about half an hour before dinner. Why don't we grab a beer before we go in? Okay, have a seat. I'll go grab the beers. Great, thanks. How you doing? Yeah, two beer, please. There we go, a couple of beer. Thank you. No problem at all. Got a week. Nothing better. So how'd your day go today? Ah, oh, not too bad. Your typical Sunday. Sit on the couch, watch football all day. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't have it any other way. No shame in that. It's a great way to relax on a Sunday. Oh, I love football. Yeah. How about you? What'd you do today? Uh, not a whole lot. I uh, finally went out and bought that new typewriter I've been meaning to buy. I got a little bit tired of the old one breaking down every other week. The only problem with the whole affair was um, I had to stand in line for over an hour behind about 3,000 screaming kids, and that is nothing more frustrating. I mean, it's just a big headache all day long. That sounds like a great way to spend the day. Hey, listen, Frank. Sarcasm is not becoming to you. But uh, then again, neither's your face. Anyway, look, sorry, bad joke. Anyway, after that, I just went home and I slept all day until it was time to pick you up. Well, that sounds interesting. Relaxing. Yeah. Anyway, oh, look over there. There's a girl by the bar. She, um, I don't know, she's well attractive, but she looks very, very familiar to me. I just can't figure out from where I might know her. Hmm. Uh, Michael, you wished you knew her. Okay, look, you're being sarcastic again. But uh, I can't go out and just talk to her. I mean, if it's not her, I'll feel really stupid. I've done things like that before. I've seen people I thought I knew in the street and gone to talk to them. Wasn't them, and I've never been so embarrassed in my life. Well, just go introduce yourself. You know, you don't have to say you actually know her. Just say, you know, hello, my name's Michael Coy, and I'd like to get to know you. Well, maybe, but, you know, I'm pretty sure I know her. It's probably time to go in to eat anyway, isn't it? Let's see. Yeah, we'll just finish up these beers. We should head in. Okay, great. And if she's still here when we come back out, uh, I'll go talk to her then. Oh, okay, fair enough. Great, and that way it gives me time to think if I really do remember who she is. <laughs> okay, so let's finish up. Okay.
Good evening, gentlemen. May I take your order? Yes, you may. Mm, yeah, I guess we're about ready. Would you like some help with your order? That would probably be very useful, I think. Uh, I'd like to start off with a salad. What would you recommend? I'd recommend the chef salad, the Caesar salad. Mm -hmm. We have a plain garden salad? We have a plain mixed salad with a French dressing. Okay. Do you have any other kinds of dressing? We do. We have Thousand Island dressing, mayonnaise, hollandaise sauce, and a normal house dressing. Okay, I'll have the garden salad with uh, hollandaise, please. Very good. Okay. I think I'll just have uh, simply the Caesar salad. No dressing, please. With no dressing? No dressing. Very good. Okay, I'd like a soup with my salad as well, please. Um, I think just the minestrone would be fine. Minestrone soup. Mm -hmm. Would you like warm bread with that? I would indeed. Garlic bread, if it's available. You'd like garlic bread? Yeah. Certainly. Yes. Would you also care for garlic bread? I'd love an order of garlic bread, please. Garlic bread for two. And would you like some soup? Yes. Uh, could you tell me exactly what's in the seafood chowder, please? Our chef goes to the market every day, so the seafood chowder tends to change. Mm -hmm. Today, I believe there's place as a base for the seafood chowder. Oh, okay. I'll have one bowl, please. Certainly. Order the entrees now, as well? Yes, might as well. Okay. Uh, go ahead. I can't seem to decide between the uh, T-bone steak and the lamb chops. Which do you recommend? I think the lamb chop today is particularly fine. Mm-hmm. You would have you like... a mint sauce with that? We do. Oh, great. I'll have that. Please. And would you like some fresh vegetables with your lamb chops? Yes. Which ones do you have? We have carrots, sweet carrots. Uh, peas and potatoes. Oh, great. I'd have all three, please. Very and uh, may you mash my potatoes for me, please? Certainly will, sir. <laughs> I um, notice you have a large selection of seafood, but there's one thing not on the menu I'd like to ask about. Do you have any king crab? We do. Our chef has brought some king crab in today. Mm -hmm. But may I advise you to try the lobster, sir, which is our restaurant speciality. And we do have some fresh lobster, freshly arrived today. Okay. Um, how large are the portions? Usually we'd offer you um, a portion of about 0.7 kilograms. Okay, that'd be fine. And um, is there a butter sauce for that? There is. It's cooked. It's boiled and cooked with a light butter sauce. Okay. That'd be marvelous. Would you like some vegetables with it? Um, I heard you mention to him you have potatoes and peas. I'd like those. And if you have broccoli and maybe melt a little cheese on that. I shall Thank instruct you. the chef to cook broccoli. Thank you very much. With cheese over the top. Please. Fine. And would you care for some wine with your meal? Um, yeah, since he's getting red meat, I guess a half liter of red wine for you. Oh, that'd be great. Yes, and a half liter of white for myself, please. Is that house wine? Please. Yes, for please. me. Fine. And would you care for dessert? to end your meal with. Oh, yes. I notice you have strawberry, blueberry, <coughs> and lemon pies. Yes. Uh, may I have a blueberry pie, please? Would you like it warm or cold? Oh, warm, please. A warm blueberry. And would you like cream or ice cream on it? Uh, what flavors of ice cream do you have? We have a plain vanilla ice cream, and we also have chocolate and coffee ice creams. Oh, may I have some chocolate ice cream, please? Chocolate ice cream. And I have an amazingly large sweet tooth, so is there anything you'd recommend? The banana cake with toffee sauce. Okay, it sounds good, but would you have chocolate sauce instead of toffee? I shall, yes, we do. Okay, chocolate sauce, please. And a cup of coffee with it. Would you, two coffees? No, I'll have tea, please. One tea, one coffee. Would you like any special tea? We have Indian and Chinese. Uh, just a simple Earl Grey would do, please. A simple Earl Grey. Yeah. And a plain coffee. Yeah, with cream and sugar. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you.
Frank, can you just hang on just, just a minute? Yep. Excuse me. Jennifer Michael. Johnson. Hi, how are you doing? Not too bad. How are you? I'm great. I'm surprised great. to see you here. Yeah. Can you hang on just a yep. second? Frank, come here for a minute. I'd like you to meet Jennifer Johnson. Jennifer, this is Frank Foster, Hi, a friend of nice mine. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Jennifer. Yeah. So you guys know each other? Yeah, we do. We've known each other for years, actually. We went to school together a long time ago. Mm -hmm. It was quite a surprise, actually. This is interesting. Boy, this is a small world. It's incredible. <laughs> Isn't it? Well, uh, Michael, I told you. As a matter of fact, we were just sitting over there before, uh -huh. and you were up at the bar, and I said, Michael, you should go talk to her if you recognize her. Right. Because Michael said he recognized you, and, uh -huh. but he was afraid to. Uh, well, so I've embarrassed myself tens of thousands of times before. I see someone I think I know, I go to talk to them, and it's not them. Mm -hmm. And it's probably the most embarrassing thing a person can do. Well, I'm glad you got up the courage to come here. That's yeah, great. Yeah, well, I just I saw you again when we were leaving the restaurant, mm -hmm. and I figured I might as well take the chance. That's like, great. And I thought about it in there and realized, yeah, I do know who you were. So, huh. so what are you doing here now? I mean, you've been sitting oh, here yeah. for quite a while. Well, I was just um, on the phone with a colleague of mine. We were supposed to meet here and do some work, but his mm -hmm. car broke down. So I'm just catching up on some stuff. Yeah. What kind yeah. of work are you doing? Um, I'm working at a law firm right now, mm -hmm. but I'm also taking night courses to yeah. get my, what? my bar degree. Oh, so you want to be a lawyer, too? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's great. My boss is really encouraging. and Start raking in uh, some big bucks, then. Maybe. <laughs> you hope? We'll see. We'll see. It's not my aim, but it'll well, be nice. <laughs> yeah, it'll be a nice little bonus, I think. For sure. Yeah. Well, listen, I'm going to leave you two guys here alone. I, tomorrow morning, Monday, got to be at work early. Lots of houses to sell, right? Lots of houses to sell. Mm. Busy man, always on the go. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, I'll take the car home then. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I can catch a cab. That's no problem. Okay, great. Well, it was nice to meet you, Jennifer. Yeah, nice to meet you. And Hopefully um, we'll meet again. Oh, I'm sure we will. Okay. Well, thanks for dinner, Frank. Ah, uh, don't worry about that. I'll get you back sometime. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, have a good night, you two. Okay. okay. And uh, thanks again, and talk to you later. Okay, see you. Bye-bye. Okay. So, what have you been doing with yourself? Well, I've had a pile of work to do. I have stuff for night school and for my day job. Mm -hmm. So, also helping the family out. So yeah. I've been keeping myself pretty busy. Yeah, yeah, it's unfortunate you don't have time to do a lot of other things, but I guess when you consider that it's for your future, it's probably all for the best. Right. Well, I wish I could get away just for a weekend, maybe two. It'd be so nice of a break. Yeah, well, but Frank having... keeps suggesting to me that maybe we could do something. I'm sure, mm -hmm. you know, now that we've met again and you've just met Frank, I think maybe sometime we could all do something. Yeah. You never know. No, maybe the weather will get nicer. Right now it's just not even inspiring. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. I know, and in my kind of work, inspiration is quite necessary. So what are you doing? Um, well, I became a playwright, and I mm -hmm. sit down and I just write plays, I guess, really? as the name implies. That's great. How many have you had put on? Um, about half a dozen so far. It's not that many. But, um, you know, the best thing about this kind of work is you can make your own hours. Mm. And whenever the mood strikes, you sit down, you write, you know. Yeah. So long as you get enough done to put bread on the table, it's the yeah. most important thing. No, that's great. How are the reviews? Um, for the most part, when you write a play and you get it put on stage, you don't read the reviews because that can... <laughs> no, seriously, it just it influences the way you write sometimes. Uh, so, uh, I don't know. It seems to me people have been going to see them, so I guess they're not too bad. Yeah, no, that's great. Sounds like you're on your way. <laughs> uh, maybe. Yeah. I still haven't hit Broadway yet. Hopefully sometime in the next two or three years. Yeah. Uh, ideally, I'd like to have a play put on there. That would be excellent. would be the best thing. Yeah, so you've been away for quite a while, huh? Yeah, it's six or seven years now, I guess. Maybe maybe even a bit more. I haven't really kept track. Yeah. It's, so it is kind of You left nice right after school? Yeah, yeah, right yeah. after school. And um, I don't regret it. I mean, it is kind of strange to come home sometimes and not really remember faces and places and everything else but mm -hmm. you know, all things considered it's been the best thing i could have done yeah have you moved around from place <clears> to place <throat> or just stayed no it's been basically the same place i yeah. went to school and uh i am still in the same town there that's where the most it's where the best and the most uh, lucrative opportunities were uh. right after graduation so hmm. i'm still there have you moved here for good now um i'm considering it 
I think yeah. I may. I mean, yeah. it's, it's nice to be back. Yeah, it is, actually. So, yeah. one thing I want to know about is, I mean, you're still here. Is there anything you can tell me about the people we went to school with? I haven't seen them for so long. Hmm. Well, I've only kept track with a few people. Yeah. You know, everybody kind of dispersed, went their separate ways. But, um, you know, my best friend, Maria. Yeah, I she's, remember. Yeah, she's actually gotten married. No yeah, kidding. Yeah, she got married about a year after school. And I she can't has believe it. two little twins. They're so cute, and they have blonde, curly hair. Yeah. And they're just, uh, they're adorable. So did she marry a guy that I'd know, or...? Um, actually, she married someone from work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she met someone at the office, and yeah. they've been married for a few years so now. They have a house. They're all settled down. You're kidding. <laughs> it's so strange. That's fantastic. I couldn't imagine myself. Well, no, the entire lifestyle just isn't <laughs> for me yet, at least not the married lifestyle. I yeah. I think I'll wait a bit longer, maybe. Yeah, I just want to have my career and everything settled before, yeah. that, before something well, serious. Oh, it's a good idea. Anyone yeah. else? Um, well, there's, there's a friend of mine, um, um, Jennifer who, you know, Jennifer Lone. Right. Yeah, and she, she she's just continuing on with school, and she's already at her PhD level. So, no kidding. Yeah, some people what's went her, quite uh, far. What's her specialization? She's in physiology, mm -hmm. in doing things for, in medical field. Oh, yeah. wonderful. She's probably going to become a prof soon. Yeah, good That's for great. her. Yeah. I, um, I haven't kept in touch with many people either. Um, I'll think for a sec. Uh, do you remember John Olton at all? Um, wait, was he really, really tall and dark curly hair? Um, not that tall, but he had the dark curly hair. Uh -huh, um, yeah. Skinny fella. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He, um, he's got his own business now. Two of them, in fact. He wow. runs a lawn care company in the summer, mm -hmm. and in the winter he delivers oil, and you know, it keeps him tied up an awful lot. But he's doing very well for himself. Oh. Uh, still not married, but. He always did like to play the field. <laughs> yeah. And there's Doug, who, um, let me think, he went to school, studied photography, mm -hmm. and he has the best job in the world right now. He, um, he's a freelance journalist, photojournalist is what he is. Uh. And he travels the world with different magazines, different companies, um, shooting whatever they want him to. Like, it could be um. sports events, it could be you know, wars, it, political stuff. Yeah, and he's that's just exciting. a big globe trotter right now. Wow! I really envy the guy. Whenever I th look through the National Geographic and think of the people that were there to see that and take those beautiful photos, that must be such a great job. Yeah, I'd enjoy it. Yeah. And the only other one that I can really think of is uh, Janice, and she moved oh, yeah. out west. Yeah. She um, managed to get a job at one of the big hotels, one of the resorts out ah. there. Started off small, like a chambermaid and stuff like yeah. that. But um, she eventually she studied more or less like what you're doing now. Uh -huh. And uh, within about five years, she had worked her way up into administration, hmm. making really good money and uh, a nice place to be too. Oh, great views! Gets to ski all winter and. Uh, is she in else. Jasper or? Uh, Banff, actually. Banff. Oh yeah. wow! But, uh, I still haven't gone out there myself. No, it's wonderful. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with what I'm doing though. Oh, yeah. Well, so, anyway, I think we've been sitting here for quite a while. Are you almost done that? Actually, I'm really just about to pack up. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty well, much. Well, if you're interested, I'll give you a hand packing this stuff up. And I have a house in town here. Oh. And, uh, you know, we can go over there. We'll catch a cab there. And I can give you a tour of the place. If you're interested. I don't want sure. you to do anything you don't want to no, do. No, that sounds great. I'd okay. love to. Okay. Well, well let's go then. I see you found a comfortable spot. Yeah, this is great. Thanks. 
Could I get you a cup of coffee or a cup of tea? Uh, no. You know, I've I've had so much coffee and tea at the bar that I'm not thirsty at all anymore. Yeah, I know. I've had so much coffee, too. I'm on a real large caffeine high. If I have any more, I'll probably be awake for a week. Uh-oh. Well, why don't you just sit down and we'll have a chat or yeah, something? Yeah, sure. So, Michael, I really like this place you have here. How did you ever come upon it? Well, I wish I could say that it's mine, but technically I can't. It actually belongs to an uncle of mine mm -hmm. who spends a fair bit of time outside of town on business. And, you know, whenever he's away and I might be in town, I have full use of the place. Hmm, that's convenient. Yeah, it's really not bad, actually. That's really And, nice. I don't know, I guess it's, we're not close relatives or anything, but I guess blood being thicker than water, he, uh, he trusts me to look after things and not disturb his order around here. Yeah, yeah, well, it seems like a pretty old house, though. He, he just bought it recently, or has he had it for a long time? Well, he's been here 10 or 12 years. Uh -huh. And the people that were here before it, you know, they wanted someone that they could trust to look after the place. And he'd known them for quite a while, so he actually got a really good deal on the place because, you know, they knew that he'd look after it the way that they would have wanted it taken care of. Right. Yeah. So did he redo anything from that time? Or? He changed a few things. Um, the wallpaper that you see here, that's all the original stuff. Uh -huh. uh, the carpet's new. I mean, the stuff that they'd had had been there for quite a few years. It was getting a little old and a little bit worn. So he came in, he took it all up, put down new padding and a new underlay, which made it quite a bit softer. Nice, yeah. And he put this stuff down, which kind of goes with the walls, I guess. And yeah. all the furniture's his, of uh, course. Uh -huh. What about the light? The lighting pictures are quite original. <laughs> um, those, I think, he added as soon as he took the place. Uh -huh. If I was him, I'd change them again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think. <laughs> a little strange. Yeah. But, but you know, I've mentioned it to him once or twice, and so far he doesn't seem to want to bite. He wants to leave it the way it is. So, you know, it's his house. I'm not going to push him. Right. Well, there's quite a few old, like that dinette set is, looks almost antique. The table itself is, it's probably around 100, 120 years old. Mm -hmm. It's solid oak with the removable, removable centerpiece, mm -hmm. you know, for when he has company and stuff like that. And the chairs... You know, I think they're oak, too, but probably no more than 20 years old. You know, he uh -huh. reupholstered them just to fit in with everything else around here. Huh. Well, it's a really big place, it seems. Yeah, it's huge. It's great for entertaining. You know, yeah. he has a lot of business clients and stuff come in here and the occasional dinner party, which is good. And, yeah, that's you nice. Know, I'm always tempted to do the same thing when I'm <laughs> here. But since it's not my place, I usually don't cave into that temptation. Yeah, yeah. That but, must be hard living in someone else's house when you feel responsible for it. Oh, yeah. But usually know. when I come back here, it's just to sort of come back and relax and that sort yeah. of thing, too. So I don't mind, yeah. really. Well, does he have someone that helps him do cleaning and housework? No, actually, he doesn't. You know, I think if I had the place on a full-time basis, I probably would. Yeah. Maybe because I'm lazy. I don't know. <laughs> but... No, he's the kind of guy that even when he is busy with work and that sort of thing, he prefers to do it all himself because he knows exactly how he wants things done mm. and exactly where things go. And, you know, right. he just, he'd rather do it all himself. Yeah. And not to mention the fact I think he's a little bit cheap. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no. he doesn't like to spend money. Yeah. Yeah. So what about um, the backyard? Does he have a garden or what? Yeah, he's got a small one. Oh. He likes to fancy himself an amateur gardener too. And he goes out and he plants a few vegetables and a few flowers and things like that. Hmm. You know, provide a little bit for himself in terms of things to eat. Yeah. yeah. He talks every now and again about hiring a gardener in the summer just to come by and maybe weed a bit. Yeah. But so far nothing's come of that. I don't expect anything ever will. <laughs> as long as he can get out there with his own, you know, under his own steam, he'll be out there all by himself. Yeah, well that must be a nice relaxing kind of thing to do. Yeah, I think so. Back and Not for me, I'd rather sit down and write or read, uh, but he enjoys it. Yeah. Well, it's being it's outside. And yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Communing with nature. Right, right. So this, but this place looks like it's been pretty much the same since about the 70s or so, huh? Mm, yeah, basically. Thank God he got rid of the original 70s carpet, like I said. You know, all <laughs> that brown and yellow and orangey sort of stuff. Uh, it's horrible. Yeah. And yeah. there's still a few modifications I'd probably make, but like I say, I don't push him. Right. You know, if he wants to do it, he'll eventually do it. Yeah, it'd be nice to have a new style, especially with all these 
high ceilings and stuff. You could do yeah. a lot with a place. Well, the great thing is, is you know, I've got friends that are artists, and I know a couple of people that are interior decorators. Mm -hmm. And I know if I could just talk them into it and bring them in here, it'd work wonders with the place. It'd just be amazing. Uh, it'd be so up to date. But he but, wouldn't go for it. Well, he might. You know, the next time I see him, I'm going to bring along you know, a bunch of pictures and you know a few examples of some of their work. Mm. See what he says. That's a good idea. Yeah. Maybe. But until it's my place, which it may never be, <laughs> like I say, it's his decision, not mine. Right. So have you got a study or something where you write all your great masterpieces? <laughs> masterpieces. <laughs> Actually, I do. I was just about to mention that. If you'd like to go and have a look, I can show you. Oh, sure. I'd love it. Okay. After you. Thank you. Michael, this is a really good spacious study you have. Yeah, it's nice. Do you do a lot of work here? I do a fair bit, but um, it's comfortable. But, you know, most of my inspiration comes to me when I'm in other places. You know, I could be out walking around town or sitting in another room doing something and an idea will hit. Yeah. And, you know, I jot down a few notes there. And then I come back here and I usually expand on it in the office. But this isn't where my best ideas come to me. No, I guess yeah. you get a lot of inspiration from nature, or...? Well, a fair bit. In fact, one of my favorite places for sitting and thinking and just relaxing in general is a park not far from here. And mm -hmm. uh, if you're interested to more the next day, I'd like to invite you there. And uh, you can read through one of my most recent plays. Oh, wow, like. a play in the making? Yeah, if you want oh, to call it that. that would be really neat. Once you'll be all famous, and I would have read a play of yours. Well, Broadway does wait. <laughs> I'm not there yet, but hopefully soon. Great. Well, yeah, well, this is kind of boring in here, so why don't we go? I'll show you the rest of the place. Okay, sure. Okay. This is a great place you've got here, Michael. I love it. Well, I'm glad you think so. I'm afraid I'm going to have to go home now, though. I told my roommate we'd be back by about 8 or so. Are you sure? Yeah, well, she's expecting me. Well, I mean, I do have a phone here. You can give her a call. Oh. And, you know, it seems to me that uh, I haven't finished the tour yet. And I think we still have some catching up we could do. You're more than welcome to stay. I've got an extra room. Okay. Okay. I have to get up really early tomorrow. Yeah? Well, yeah. I have an extra alarm clock, too. That's no problem. Okay, great. And if you need them, there's even facilities right in the bedroom. Oh, I can take a shower? You can take a shower. Wow, okay. So, if you, I can show them to you right now. If you sure. Like. Well, let's, let's go. Okay.
This is such a beautiful place. I love this bed. It's so soft. And the colors are really nice too. Comfy room. It's huge though. It's really big. It's nice. So Jen, here's your alarm clock. It's not that great, but I think it'll be loud enough to wake you up. <laughs> great. Um, do you want me to set it for you, or do you want to take care of it? I think I can. Is it really complicated? Or? No, like the no. buttons are right there. It's okay. really incredibly simple. So. Okay, great. It's well, sitting right there when you're ready for it. Yeah, I have to get up really early tomorrow, unfortunately. Yeah. Not me. I can mm -hmm. sleep as long as I want. Yeah, I have. I have to be somewhere at eight o'clock. Yeah. So I'll set it. Is it pretty okay. loud? Is it gonna? It'll wake you up. Yeah. Trust me. Okay. It'll wake you up. Because most things don't. <laughs> That's great. Well, thanks a lot. If I don't see you tomorrow morning, you probably don't want to get up. But I just had the wonderful, wonderful day. Did you? Yeah. I'm happy to hear that. And I should probably actually be the one thanking you. It's been a while since I've gone out and just relaxed like that with such good company. It was, it was great. I'm glad you came along. I yeah. really am. Well, I'm glad that we met, that you came up to me. Because oh, my God. Wasn't that surprising? That was really, really neat. I mean, it was the most unexpected thing. And I was, the funniest thing, though, was I was sitting there. I'm sitting there thinking and looking. I know that face. I know who that woman is. And it just you know, took forever, but it finally came to me. Yeah, and well, I'm glad it did. I'm glad it did too, because I would never have seen you. Yeah. We wouldn't have had so much fun. That would have been a shame. Yeah, the pool was so nice, and your whole house is just beautiful. Oh, thanks. So. Uh, I like to think I've done a little bit with it. But the pool, that was the main reason I bought the place, because uh, it's just an amazing little extra touch. Yeah. And it's something you can show off to your guests. <laughs> you did that yeah. quite well. Yeah. And well, thanks. It's the only thing I have to keep in shape. So yeah. I use it quite a bit. Yeah, I would too. If I had such a. Yeah. Luxury. Well, I guess I should let you get to bed. Yeah. Um, I will make a point of being up to see you off in the morning. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, sleep tight. Okay. Don't let the bed night bugs night. bite. <laughs> Michael, Frank Foster calling. Well, I have a client coming by, a Mr. Parker, and we might be taking a drive out the Slope Hill later. Would you like to come along? Okay, great. How about when we're ready to leave, I will give you a call, and then we'll come by and pick you up. Okay, great. Maybe afterwards we'll go play around the golf. Okay, I'll talk to you later then, Michael. Bye-bye. Come in. Mr. Parker, good to see you again. Mr. Foster, I'm glad to see you. How are you today? Fine, how about you? I couldn't be better. Mm-hmm. Mr. Parker, would you like to have a seat, please? Thank you very much. May we get you some tea or coffee, perhaps? Uh, tea would be good if you had some. Yes, we do. Just one second, please. Great. There you go, Mr. Parker. Thank you. Mr. Parker, any trouble finding the place? No, actually, it's a very easy spot to find. How about that weather out there today? Mm. <laughs> well, you know how it is at this time of the year. A few clouds, a bit of, of rain, it's, well, everything at the same time. Can't complain about that weather, can we? <laughs> no, certainly not. I have some pictures here, Mr. Parker, for that household in Slope Hill. Oh, yeah. Do you have any questions uh, about the place? Yeah, actually, I do have a few questions, but uh, I was wondering, wouldn't that be better just to go see the place and discuss it there? I just assume get some of the basic points out of the way before we took a drive out there. Mm -hmm. Well, okay then, that's fine. Let's oh. do it now. Uh, yeah, I guess the first question then would be, uh, when was the house built? 
The house was built in uh, 1960. 1960. So that's 30 years. Um, do you know who built it? I'm not quite sure who built it, but I'll tell you what, Mr. Parker, the previous owner, he was a carpenter, mm -hmm. kept the place in immaculate condition. Oh, excellent. Uh, sure. And after that, yeah, that's, after all, it's not that important to consider. Mm, yeah, I noticed in the picture that, well, it seems to be in your roof, is it? Yes, it is. The carpenter built it himself three years ago. The best materials in the county. What is it? And um, what's the size of the house exactly? The house is uh, 1,500 square feet. 1,500? Yeah. Okay, do you mind if I know this? No problem at all. It's, well, an old habit. As a school teacher, you know how it is. Yeah, those old habits sure die hard, don't they? <laughs> For sure. Oops. Falling apart too. <laughs> um, so, yeah, um, it's a bit small, isn't it? Well, 1,500 square feet, Mr. Parker, it's only yourself. You know, there's two bedrooms, living room, bathroom, and a kitchen. Any more space than that is really space you're paying extra money for, which you don't really need. Yeah, yeah. I never thought, I never saw it that way, but you maybe you're right. That's for sure, and yeah, <laughs> in fact, yeah, I've been to Kenworth, and I visited a few houses over there. That's amazing. They're so expensive compared with it. I tell you, Mr. Parker, our company brings you the best houses at the best prices. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Customer service is number one priority. I can see that. We're a top flight organization, <laughs> Mr. Parker. Yeah, right. But, um, yeah, the age of the house is bothering me a little bit. I'm, well, I'm especially concerned with the wiring system. Do you know anything about that? As a matter of fact, it was rewired top to bottom two years ago. Two years ago. Best electrical contractors in the region. Mm -hmm. I have yeah. all, the, all the receipts and all the invoices if you'd like to see them. No, for now I trust you, but maybe later we can check that. Okay. And how about the heating system then? As a matter of fact, it's central heating. You know, electricity, you don't have to worry about those oil prices going up and down. It's the most economical, and now nowadays, the most environmentally conscious as well. Mm, that's for sure. Um, yeah, then, uh, yeah, where is that exactly? It seems to be a bit far from Greenwood. Do you know any, what are the services offered? Well, well right now it's a 35 to 40 minute drive into Greenwood, but they're building a brand new highway, whiskey in the town, 10, 15 minutes. Okay, yeah. That's a thing to consider, too. Um, another consideration that I have is uh, about getting my mail first thing in the morning. How about this area, do you know? Just one second. That's 12 Oak Road, mm -hmm. 7 o'clock in the morning. Oh, excellent. Ah. And your morning newspaper comes at 7 o'clock as well. Does it? Your post, your morning newspaper, and your porridge, all first thing in the morning. I like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If we go back to that highway, though, well, you see, I have a few concerns about that. Um, I heard that there are a few constructions going, around, going on, on that, in that neighborhood, and I hate highways with a passion, so I just hope I won't be disturbed by that. Well, I'll tell you what, Mr. Parker, the access road is going in at Old Cherry Hill Road. Mm -hmm. That's three quarters to a mile away. Yeah. And Oak Road, it's on a cul-de-sac, so you don't have to worry about tractor trailers, bulldozers, or transport trucks tearing up your front yard. You'll have a peace of quiet, and there's no construction in your backyard, so none of those beautiful trees will be touched at all. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, if it's the way you say it, then it's excellent. Any other plans in the area? Well, there's actually talk of a subdivision going in. You know, good young families, add a little vitality to the community, mm -hmm. and talk of a school as well. A school? Well, as a former school teacher, again, I guess I wouldn't mind having kids around. It'd be a great opportunity for you to put something back in the community. It'd be good for yourself and probably great for those students. Yeah, I, should, I must just do that. And... Um, yeah, well, that highway, uh, well, you explained me everything, but still, I would need to, uh, well, consider it a little bit more, and, well, before I make up my mind, you know, I, I would need a bit 
more time for that. Well, Mr. Parker, maybe if we took a drive out there, you know, allay your fears a little bit, show you exactly where that highway is going in, and just, you know, let you know that it's not going to bother you at all. Yeah, that would be better, in fact. I would prefer that. Oh, okay. Let me just look at my date book there and see if we're free to go take a drive out there. As a matter of fact, Mr. Parker, I'm free right now. Are you? Excellent. I am too. Would you like to take a drive out then? Sure. Oh, okay. Oh, by the way, Mr. Parker, I have a friend in town, mm -hmm. Mr. Coy. Yeah. Do you mind if he accompanies us to Slope Hill? No, no problem. Oh, okay. May you wait in the hallway while yeah. I give him a call? Okay, sure. Michael, good to see you again. How you doing, Frank? Nice to see you today. This is my client, Mr. Ben Parker. Ben Parker, Michael Coy. Mr. Parker, nice to meet you. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Coy. Mr. Parker, Michael Coy is going to accompany us out to Slope Hill when we look at this house. Mm -hmm. Do you mind? No, not at all. I really hope it's no problem. I mean, once we get there, I'm probably just going to take off, find something else to do anyway. That's fine with me. Do whatever you want. It's okay. Not a problem. Good. Gentlemen, it's getting late. Weather's not too good. I think we should take off right now. You're right. Okay. We should. Okay. Mr. Foster, this is exactly the place I like. The neighborhood, those trees, those birch trees everywhere. I just love it. It's exactly what I need. Didn't I promise you a very, very beautiful property? And the house is exquisite as well. Yeah? Oh, oh. and even we had the little security right here and the trees. I tell you, in the fall, when the leaves change color, mm -hmm. it is the most beautiful sight in the world. I can't, I can't wait. I can't wait to see inside how it looks like. It's so beautiful. Do you want to take a walk in right now? Sure, please. Okay, let me find that key. Uh, well, look, guys, this is your business. I know you want to look at the house. You don't want very many distractions. So I think I'll go for a walk and reacquaint myself with the town a bit, maybe. Um, you know, what time should I come back? How long should I go? Oh, maybe half an hour, uh, Mr. Parker? Yeah, that should be plenty. Okay, well, I'll give you 45 minutes just to make sure you have plenty of time, and uh, yeah, I'll see you then. Okay, great. Okay. Hopefully, Mr. Parker and I will have all our business concluded by then. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully okay. for you. Okay, let's take a look. So, how have things been going? It's so amazing. I'm so surprised. It's exactly what I need. Yeah? Yeah, well, I can see all my things fitting in there. It would be just perfect. Fantastic. I really think you're going to like the area, too, because when I was out on my walk, mm -hmm. I uh, was through this you know, very, very pleasant park. You know, you can go sit there, you relax, you just... You know, when the sun, you go there, you get a little oh, inspiration. It's, yeah. it's a I lot of fun. I can't wait. I have yeah. to see it myself. Okay, well, I have 
one other question. It may seem a little strange to you, but did you teach elementary school at one time, or maybe grade five, grade six? Yes, why this question? Just because when I heard the name Mr. Parker and when I saw your face, I was convinced that I knew you, and okay. I really think you were my grade five or six elementary school teacher. English, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. it's gotta be you. Michael Coy, do you remember? Coy, Coy, I know you had a lot of students, Coy. but... For sure, how could I forget that little boy, that yeah. little <laughs> playing tricks? You liked it, eh? Uh, maybe a little. Yeah, I, uh... I can't... How could I forget? How could I forget this, this little boy? <laughs> boy? I can't believe... What are you doing now? Um, believe it or not, and despite all the tricks I used to play, uh, I guess your English teaching paid off in the end because mm -hmm. I'm a playwright of all things. Are you? Yeah, Well, I am. then, I'm really glad. I'm really glad my yeah. lessons paid off. In fact, um, I've got a new play going to mm -hmm. be put on stage in about three weeks. Um, if you'd really like, like, I'll get you tickets to the premiere. Yeah, yeah, tell me, tell me where it is. I, yeah, I will, really indeed, like and you'll probably even meet one of the other students, um, mm -hmm. uh, Jennifer Martin. Jennifer, well, she yeah. was always with you, yeah, wasn't she? Yeah, she was, she oh, was, she I and can't. a couple other people. These were the most terrible kids in my <laughs> class, but at least they learned, so. What a memory, eh? What can you do? The steel yeah. trap. But, but uh, yeah, you'll probably run into her. I just saw her a couple days ago, and mm -hmm. we'll all go to the play. Yeah, I'd be glad. I'll be glad to see her. Okay. So is uh, everything all set here, uh, Mr. Parker? Yeah. Yeah, I guess, well, the thing is I'd like to think about it a little bit more. But I think my mind is pretty settled. I'd, I'd like to. Yeah. I think the best would be to call you maybe tomorrow or in two days. Well, how about if I gave you a call tomorrow, Mr. Parker? Tomorrow? Yeah, I should have time to check with my accountant. But, yeah, things should be all right. Okay, about 9 o'clock in the morning? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm really glad you liked the place. It's it's truly amazing, to be honest. I, well, I had doubts about that highway, remember, and yep. everything, but I guess now, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm so. We always promise the best for our customers, and we deliver. Yeah, I can see that. And uh, speaking of that, would you like my um, associate to pick you up in an hour or so? If you're going to take a walk around? Mm -hmm. No, don't worry. I think the best is to grab a taxi and, well, yeah, don't worry about that. Okay, well, enjoy yourself. Thank you very much. And, uh, you know, take a good look around and... I hope you'll enjoy everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you very much again, Mr. Foster. It's truly, truly, I appreciate. I appreciate no it. problem at all, Mr. Parker. Mm -hmm. I'm here to help you. Any questions? Give me a call. Okay. Yeah. If not, I'll be talking to you tomorrow morning for short nine o'clock. Good. Okay. Good. I'm waiting for your phone call then. Okay. Great. Okay. Talk good. to you tomorrow. Yeah. And well, I was glad to see you again. It was Mr. really Guy. nice to meet you after all yeah. these years again. And let me know about those about I will. theater in about three weeks, and I'll make sure you get the tickets. Okay, or maybe the best is to contact Mr. Sure. Uh, well, Foster. Yeah. No problem. Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, have a nice stroll. Thank you very much. We'll talk to you later then. Okay. Good. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Are ready to play that round of golf there? Yeah, I think I am. I'm actually looking kind of forward. Should be a good time. to be finally out of that sports coat. Now we can go play a little golf. A little more comfortable, are you? Oh, quite a bit more comfortable. That's good. I can't believe, though, Mr. Parker, it was so unexpected to run into him here like this. I mean, what, it must be, God, 15 years now, at least, since I've seen him. You know, an old teacher of mine. And, and look, he's your client now. Uh, it's incredible. The world's so small, isn't it? Yeah, oh, well, it's... uh. Makes for nice little surprises now and again. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, I'm going to sell him the house too. Yeah, with any luck. Um, he seemed to like the place. It's fairly nice out here. I mean, I think uh, if he wasn't going to buy it, I might. Well, the place pretty well sells itself. The area is so beautiful. Uh, that reminds me. Would you like to maybe take a little uh, trip out to the country? Um, sure. Oh, okay, maybe we take a little two-day trip. Invite Jennifer along. Okay. Uh, one of my associates told me about this country inn. Yeah. I'm not quite sure where it is, but with a map, I'm okay. sure we can get there. Okay, when would you want to go? Maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow, let's say day after tomorrow. Okay, and I'll take the car to the garage tomorrow. Okay, good. And, um, yeah, I'll talk to Jennifer like you suggested. I'm sure she'd be interested in going. And, um, yeah, that'd be fine. That would be a great trip. Okay. Okay, let's go. All right.
You know, I'm really glad that you could make it today. Yeah, thanks a lot for inviting me. This is a great place. Yeah, it's one of my favorite places in town, actually. I mean, look back there and you have all the trees and bushes and all the green. And there's the river out there. And I don't know, it's just, it's quiet. It's peaceful. I like it here a lot. It's uh, when I need to get a little inspiration sometimes. Yeah. Come down here and I just sit on the bench and I think about life. And so do you it's really here? relaxing. Sometimes, sometimes when I can't think of anything in the house and I really feel stuffy there, yeah. I come down here and I sit and I think and well, write a Especially on a beautiful day. Yeah, like isn't it amazing? Spring just starting. Yeah. It's great. Anyway, why don't we have a seat? Sure, sure. It's rather comfortable here. Yeah. So did you bring the play for me to read? Uh, no, I didn't. I'm sorry, but I took a little time and I thought about it. And it just seems to me that since it's already been written, and they've started rehearsals and all that sort of thing for it, that maybe it would be better if you went to the premiere. Uh, that's an idea. That be interesting to you? I'd love it. Okay, love it. I'll make sure that you get some tickets then. Okay, how long is it going to be till it's um, on stage? They've had the script at, in the director's hands and everything for about two weeks now. They've been rehearsing. He's been putting the cast through their paces and everything is going according to plan. Excellent. So I'm figuring about three more weeks, I think. It takes mm -hmm. somewhere between a month and a month and a half to get something properly ready for the stage. And you know, like I say, three more weeks and all should be ready to go. Great. And I'm a little bit nervous about it. And uh, I guess you're always nervous when you first get something onto stage, but you know, I think it'll go good. That's so long as the uh, critics don't chop me to pieces, <laughs> I think I'll be all right. Always those critics. Yeah. Well, what kind of play is it? Is it a drama or a comedy? Um, kind of hard to say. I guess if I was going to put it into one genre or another, I'd have to say it's more drama than mm -hmm. anything else. But I'd rather just let you see it and you can decide for yourself. Yeah, no, that, I'm looking forward to that. And in any case, if you like it, then I'm sure the rest of the critics will like it and I'll have nothing <laughs> to worry about, I hope. So why did you become a playwright with all these stresses and... Um, oh, because I love to lead a bohemian lifestyle. Ah. No, there's, there's a couple of main reasons. Um, number one, I just, I love to write. And, uh, you know, whenever, especially in a place like this too, I guess, you come down here and you relax and you get a, mm -hmm. get a little inspiration and everything's fine. Um, I guess the second main reason is, oh, it's kind of hard to put my finger on it. But I guess, you know, you take a little piece of life here, a little piece of life there, you know, whether it be sad, comic, tragic, um, just you know, happy. Yeah. You know, I like to think if you can put something like that on stage, portray something that someone else may find something in common with, mm -hmm. especially if someone's feeling a bit down, a little bit uncertain about life, mm -hmm. and they come to the theater and they see something on stage that rings a bell with them, then, um, you know, it makes them feel like someone else out there understands them. Right. You know, if, I don't know, it may sound a little corny, but no, you know no, what no, I mean? No, I think, it, I think it's one of the most important things, and then you feel real gratification, especially if someone were to come up and say, you know, you really helped me see through my problems yeah. or something like that. Exactly. That's what I'd like to be one day, too, and try to help families. Yeah, you're studying to be a lawyer? Yep, yeah, yeah, I'm <clears throat> working through it right now. I'm just thinking that I want, want to be helping families with financial troubles, mm -hmm. like my own. I know they had problems with debt collectors and right. insurance companies and so forth, and I'd really like to be there for other people. And no, that's good. It sounds like a very noble undertaking. Oh, I don't know how noble However, it is. However, you know, it's, it's funny <laughs> to think of you being a lawyer, because every time I think of a lawyer, I have this vision of uh, an ambulance chaser in my head. Uh, well, the, the reputation lawyers have these days yeah, anyway. Yeah. But I'm sure you won't be an ambulance chaser. No. You will rise above that, I right? will break that. Silly, silly. That evil, tradition. vicious circle. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope so, anyways. So, have you talked to Frank? Um, yeah, I did not too long ago. He um, sends his regards. Mm -hmm. And he also made a rather interesting proposition that might be of interest to us sometime in the next couple of days. Mm. And so, look, why don't we just take a walk and we can talk about it? Okay, okay. sounds good. Thank you. Thanks.
So what was it that Frank suggested to you? Well, he suggested that since we're all together now, we have a little bit of free time, maybe we should all go for a picnic. Mmm, that yeah. sounds great. That yeah, would be really, okay. really fun. Yeah. He knows this little place just a little way outside of town mm -hmm. where it's you know, really quiet. There's a lot of... Uh, it's just relaxing. It's, it's nature, kind of like what we have here. And so, this um, is great. I yeah. love being outdoors. I'm usually in the city. Mm -hmm. I like to spend summers. We used to spend summers in a cottage, but now we don't get a chance to yeah, as much. I know. It's just pretty much the same with me. It's I, My parents and I used to go to the country all the time when I was a kid. No, really. It was it was a yeah. lot of fun. You'd go out and sit by the lake, and uh, you'd have a big barbecue and everything else. And it's a lot of fun. But uh, ever since I've come to the city, I've started working. It's just... Something inevitably always comes up. I just, I never have the time to go. Yeah. So, I think we should take advantage of this. It'll probably be the day after tomorrow. Now, I'm going to okay. call him tonight and find out for sure. Oh, that's fine with me. I'm free. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Good. I'm on so, my break. <laughs> what, good. So, what do you think of Frank? I know you just met him, but... Yeah, well, I find him very pleasant at first meeting, for yeah. sure. Yeah. What does he do, exactly? He is a real estate agent. I uh -huh. thought he might have told you. I guess not. No. But, um... Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, real estate agent, to me, that seems maybe a little bit boring. But uh, he <laughs> seemed, no, well, maybe to you too, I yeah. don't know. But um, he really likes it. I yeah. mean, it's his life. And if, you, if you're into it, then, you know, you can really enjoy what you're doing. Yeah, well, I can sympathize with him sitting in desk all the time. and. Well, it's, it's not always behind a desk. He spends a lot of time in the office. Oh. But uh, just two or three days ago, we went for a trip uh, with a client of his to show him a house. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's got amazing people skills. Like He's really good with people. Yeah. yeah. And, um, you know, he gets out of town. We saw this, this house um, about 20 minutes, half an hour away from here, I guess. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it, it's enjoyable for mm -hmm. him anyway. Mm -hmm. And it's not all sitting in the office, like I say. There's a lot of time there. But he gets to take the clients out. He has to, um, he checks on the services that are around the house every time he sells one, just to make sure that you know, the person's going to get their post, that um, whatever water services are available, it's just mm -hmm. utilities in general. Yeah, yeah. And he has to do deed searches and make sure everything's proper with the paperwork and yeah. you know, all the rest of it. Right. And for him, it's interesting. Yeah, well, for me, to no. <laughs> yeah, it's not bohemian enough for me. I'd probably have to wear a shirt and tie all day. And cut your I'm hair. Just, yeah, cut my hair, which I'm not gonna do. I'm just not into that. Yeah, yeah. So, um, what? When are we gonna go for this? Um, probably the day after tomorrow. The day after tomorrow. Yeah, that sounds good. I think so. Well, how did you end up meeting Frank anyway? That's really kind of interesting. It wasn't that long ago. Like, just before I came back to Greenwood, uh -huh. and we met in the airport on the way here, and we sat together on the plane and, you know, talked, got to know each other. You mm -hmm. know what's really strange? It's just one of those things where you feel like you've known the guy forever, uh, and you've only known him maybe an hour, but already it's like you have roots that go back a long way. I love that. And it's just a weird feeling. I knew from the start that we were probably going to hit it off and just become really good friends. Yeah, when I saw yeah. you guys, I thought you were old friends too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So, you know. That's pretty much what it is so far. Yeah. Everything's going good. And I'm sure it's going to be the same with you. Great. Okay. Because he's so easy to get along with. So, should we keep walking? Yeah, why not? Okay. Okay. So, I haven't seen your parents in a while. How are they doing? Oh, they're pretty good, actually. Yeah, my mom has finally gone back to her engineering job. Has she really? Yeah. Good for she's, her. Yeah, she's on a business trip right now to mm -hmm. Russia. Russia? So she's getting some business there. And why? No, listen, you got to tell me, why is she in Russia? <laughs> well, you know, we all have our ecological problems, and mm -hmm. she deals with hazardous waste disposal, yeah. so. So she basically, you know, is a consultant, more yeah, or less? Yeah, she consults for other companies or for the government, yeah. whoever needs Good for her help. Her. What's your dad yeah. think of her going back to work? Well, he's probably missing her by now. It's been three weeks mm -hmm. since she's gone. So, But he's doing the same old thing. He's working, so yeah. he's busy, and Good. life is just Good. going on as usual. I suppose you must be happy, too, that uh, she's bringing a little more money into the house now. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll get to travel along with her one of these days. Oh, good. Yeah, be a gopher. <laughs> and what would you do? Can you speak any Russian at all? Uh, a little bit. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah. But, um... And uh, let me think. Your sister's name is... Julie. Julie. That's right. Yeah. What's she doing now? She's still deciding, debating, which debating. school to go to. It sounds for... like Julie. Yeah. 
whether she wants to go into medicine and mm -hmm. become a doctor or whether she wants to go into um, business school mm -hmm. and become a manager, you know, if she takes a business administration degree, she'll do that. Mm -hmm. But she's was, not sure. Yeah, I guess a lot of people aren't sure for a long time. Those yeah. are kind of like different ends of the spectrum, though. Yeah, well, her undergraduate degree in school was in physiology, so mm -hmm. that's very scientific. But I think she wants to uh, make lots of money as quickly as possible. <laughs> no shame in that at yeah. all. I yeah. wouldn't mind doing that myself. Right. So, so. How, how about your parents? Uh, it's the same old, same old as the saying goes. Yeah. Um, Dad's still you know, working with the town council and everything. He's uh, still basically their accountant. Yeah. And, oh, that's good. He's, he's liking Yeah, he's still liking it. It's good security and it's a stable job. And, yeah. you know, he's, uh, he's making enough money to keep things going to make ends meet. Yeah. And mom is still nursing. Mm -hmm. um, not as much as she used to. Uh, she's cut it back by about half. It's maybe 20 hours a week now. Yeah. Well, that's Four smart. or five shifts. Yeah. She must and, be um, pretty tired. You know, she still loves the job. She yeah. loves working with the people and helping them out and stuff. But it's, it's getting too tiring because yeah. she was always on call at night. She was getting called out in the middle of the night. And it, was, it was too much. Mm -hmm. So she cut it back and she might get one call a week. For, mm. you know, to go out in the ambulance. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. Well, that's great. That's great. Well, I wouldn't want to retire early either. You know, once my pension comes, I think I'm going to keep working. Be oh, like one of those. Keep yourself active. At least your mind yeah. active somehow. It's one of yeah. the good things about being a playwright is, you know, as long as you can hold the pen and uh, see the paper, you can write until the day you die. Yeah. And hopefully someone will buy it. <laughs> any luck. That's the trick. I guess. So, you know, I don't know, is there anything else I have to see here? Um, well, well we could take well, a look around. Yeah, I think there's a, maybe a statue down there. Could sure. Like look at it? Sure. Okay. What do you think of the sculpture? Well, it's quite original. <laughs> mm -hmm. I wish I knew a little more about uh, sculpture, classical sculpture anyway, so I could you know, maybe appreciate it more, but unfortunately, I don't. Yeah. There's not much I can do. I wonder what the story is behind that, why she's so frightened. I don't know. Maybe it's you. <laughs> you think? <laughs> could be. You never know. Yeah. So what happened to us? Why did we lose touch of all? Oh, God, I really don't know. It's uh, you know, it's just after high school. We both went our separate ways. Those things kind of happen. Yeah. Well, yeah. I guess I was with Scott, going out with him, and you were pretty yeah. good friends. And well, it's, it's not like I didn't want to call. I always, you know, I was always in the back of my mind. I wanted to, but Scott was my best friend. You were a friend, and you know, I really didn't want to do something that was gonna get him on my bad side. Yeah. Just, you know, I don't like to make enemies. That's the yeah. thing. But believe me, it's a lot of times I thought about just giving you a call and see what was going on. Yeah, I really wish you had. However, like you say, we have the here and now. Might as well make the most of that. Okay, so I guess we will be in a couple of days. Are you going to give yeah, me a call? Yeah, that's right. I have to, I will call Frank tonight uh -huh. and find out for sure. And yeah, I'm sure it's going to be the day after tomorrow. But I'll call and let you know just to be sure. Okay, that would okay? be great. Looking Good. forward to it. Yeah, well, okay. shall we go? I guess yeah. tomorrow's... We both get a busy work day tomorrow. Yeah, I have to get up really early. Yeah, yeah. So. Well, in that case, maybe it's better to get you home and get you to bed. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Hey, Frank. 
How you doing, Michael? Good, how are you? Not too bad. Yeah, I saw your car driving, so I thought I'd come out and meet you at the door. Okay, great. I'm just going to the service station. I thought you might like to come along. Yeah? You having a little trouble with it? Ah, uh, it's just not running well at all. Yeah, well, okay, just tell you what. I'll go in and grab a jacket, and I'll be right with you. Okay, great. Um, yeah, come on in for a minute if you want. Oh, thanks a lot. Okay. How much longer are we going to sit here, Frank? It's getting a little bit boring. I realize that, Michael. I'm as bored as you are, but I don't know what to do. Nothing's working. You've yeah, been out and checked under the hood. You didn't find anything there. Nothing underneath the hood. Everything seems to be in perfect condition. Well, I'd be useless to go out and look. I don't know anything about cars. Um, it's raining, too. Otherwise, I'd get out and push. Well, it's not very far to the gas station. Only two or three blocks, I think. Yeah? Well... Well, why don't we give it a few more minutes, and uh, if it stops raining, I'll get out and push. And if it doesn't stop raining, I'll get out and push anyway. But the uh, gas station, is that the one that Larry runs, the fellow you've told me about? Yeah, my uh, good buddy Larry. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, hopefully he'll be in today. And hopefully he won't charge an arm and a leg. Ah, uh, well, you know, Larry, takes every opportunity he can to make money, doesn't he? Like real estate agents. <laughs> like real estate agents. <laughs> yeah, joking, pal. Why don't you have a seat in there, Larry, and see how it works, okay? Okay, we'll see what's wrong. Here are the keys. Cheers. Right. Well, she's turning over. Doesn't seem to be going anywhere, though. Yeah, but she's turning over, so that means the engine is working. Maybe... You've got half full in your tank. Hang on. Your fuel indicator's broken. <laughs> Jeez. Look, it's gone back to empty now. Happens to me all the time. I Run out of petrol. Put a fresh tank in her the other day. Yeah? Well, I must get, use it up like no one's business. So, um, all we need to do is fill it up with petrol and we're away. But uh, I've had trouble with my ignition before, though. Same thing. Really? It just sounds like... Not, not going anywhere. Not turning over properly. Oh, we better have a look at the engine as well, then. Let's see. Okay. Okay, let's see what's wrong then, shall we? Okay. <sighs> right. Now, that's all in place. You look all fixed up. Ah, your distributor's come loose. Look at that. Same thing that happened last time, wasn't it, Larry? Yeah, it was. I, I fixed it, I'm sure. Obviously, it's worked its way loose again, but don't worry, I'll fix it so that it never comes loose again. I hope it's going to be free this time, Larry. Ah, uh, well, I suppose we could work it that way, yeah. Certainly. I hope so. I hope you're not going anywhere far. Well, we're actually taking a trip out of the country, about 55 miles down the road. Are you now? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Where are you going? Oh, we're going down to Slope Hill. Oh, that's cool. Well, it's very lucky you came and fixed it before you went, otherwise you'd be in a hell of a trouble if you got stuck up there, wouldn't you? Oh, in the woods or something like that? And I don't know my way around the car for the life of me. <laughs> That'd be awful. Well, look, there's a shop in there where my wife works. Go and say hello to her and you can buy some things for your trip. We've got some maps, we've got some spark plugs, some things you find really useful just in case you do break down. You have booster cables in there? 
We have some jumper cables, is that all you mean? Oh yes, oh great, I wouldn't jumper want to be stuck without them, wouldn't you? <laughs> My battery would be dead, I'd be in a lot of trouble. Well, go and have a look around and I'll fix this while you're gone. Okay, great, back in five minutes. All right then, see ya. Not too bad. That's good. What can I do for you today? Well, we're taking a little trip out to the country. Mm -hmm. And I thought we'd probably come in and pick up a couple of items. Okay, what can I get for you? Uh, I think I could use some uh, booster cables. Booster cables? Yes, please. Sure, no problem. Oh, great. Maybe some oil, too. Okay, no problem. We have lots of that. Oh, great. Anything else? Oh, Maybe I could use some uh, a funnel, perhaps. A funnel, sure. Yeah. We have a really nice orange one here for you. Oh, that's a great one. Light and also, we could always use a spark plug. A spark plug. Yeah. We, unfortunately, we don't have any right here right now. Oh, okay, that's all right. Okay. Anything else? No, that's all right. Okay. My friend would like to speak to you. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I guess since we're going to be on the road for a bit, I wouldn't mind having uh, a little bit deep. So. Okay. Bags of chips, please. Okay, what kind of chips would you Just like? Just the plain ones right up front there, fine. Oh, sure, no problem. Thank you. Is that all for you guys today? That's uh, so all. What do we owe you? Uh, six dollars. Six bucks. Okay, that's six dollars, eh? Yeah, six dollars even. There's five. Okay. And six. Okay, well, thanks very much. Have a really good trip. Oh, thank you very much. No problem. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Все стоп. Все стоп. It's all clean and ready to go, and I fixed the distributor. It will never come loose again. You promise sound you. I'm pretty confident about that. I am pretty confident about that. Cool. It's not the first time it happened, though, is it? Yeah, but honestly, this time it won't come loose. I promise you. So, um, got all the things you need for your trip, yeah? Yeah. I guess so. so. Excellent. You got a map? No. Uh, we need map. a map. I think you'd be better with a map, you know. You're gonna tell me we need a map, aren't you? We need a map, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Could you buy us a map? Uh, probably. Do you have money for it? Uh, how about you pay for it, and I'll uh, pay you back later. Yeah, I've heard that before too. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll just fill her up with uh, petrol, and then she'll be ready to go. Sure. Okay, she's all yours, ready to hit the road. Oh, thanks a lot, Larry. How much does that come to? Um, $17.50. Okay, we'll just put that on my account? Yeah, sure, no problem. Okay, great. Well, have a good journey. Oh, thanks a lot. Have a good trip. Nice meeting you too. Nice to get driving together. No problem. Oh, we'll see you another week or so. Yeah, if you have any problems, come straight back. I'll fix them immediately. Yes, I believe I have everything. Okay, do you have my sweater down there? Your sweater's in the car? And you got the coffee maker? Coffee maker's in the car? Okay, so let me think for a sec. I'm just gonna grab my backpack and I'll be right back down. Okay, great. Okay. Frank. Michael. I also decided to grab a raincoat because it's looking kind of gray out and it might get a little wet. 
if you'd like, I can grab one for you, too. Oh, no, that's all right. I should be okay. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Jennifer. Yeah. Where are you going? I forgot my sweater. I'll be I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Do they have everything there, Michael? I think so. I brought a change of clothes, and I have my bathing suit in case we find a pool, which I really hope we do. Yeah. Um, something to read, some tapes, and some food, something to drink. Get some chips? Yeah, I do, as a matter of fact. Well, how about you put them in the car? Yeah, sure. Might want to eat them on the way here. And a couple glasses of some coffee after. Oh, okay, great. Finally, you ready to go now? How many more distractions are you going to have? That's it. I've got my sweater. Now I'm going to be all nice and warm. <laughs> Okay, great. Okay, here we go. So that's all now. Well, let me think. I've got the sweater. I've got rain clothes. I've got food. Ah, I forgot my Walkman. Well, we have a tape player in the car. Yeah, well, I just don't know if you guys will like my tape, and I have to just have to listen to it. So I'm going to go run up. I'll be one step. Okay. Mike, want to grab my bag from the car there, please? There you go, my friend. Ah, oh, thanks a lot. No problem. So, you sure we have everything? Yeah, we have everything. Everything. Clothes, food, swim stuff. Did you bring a map? I'm pretty sure I brought the map. Well, I don't want pretty sure. I want to know for sure. I, mean, I don't want to be 50 miles out of town and find out we're lost somewhere. Okay, well, check the glove compartment. I'm pretty sure it's there. Sure. Okay, you're finally ready now. Good job, Jennifer. Yeah, I got it. What tape Great. is it, by the way? Oh, well, one side is uh, Louis Armstrong, Duke Ellington, some blues. Other side is some Mikey with Bob Marley. Oh, great. We might want to listen to that ourselves. Yeah, totally. Okay, good. So okay. you guys ready? Yeah, and the map is there. I probably shouldn't have doubted you at all. <sighs> okay, well, you guys get in the car and I'll just close it, okay? Okay. okay. So, Frank, do you want me to drive for a bit? If you're getting a little bit tired, I can take over for you. Ah, oh, no way. I'm never tired of driving. I've had this car for six years. Ah, oh, it's my favorite hobby. Yeah? Six years, eh? You've never thought about trading it in? Not once. This thing runs like a baby. It's awesome. Yeah, well, it seems to handle well. I really don't know that much about cars. Um, no, I don't know. It seems to have a lot of the newer features and stuff going here. Yeah, actually, it's probably one of the uh, nicest models from the, from the year 1986. Yeah. They got great stereo, AM, FM radio. Mm -hmm. You know, the heater works incredibly well. And, you know, all the readouts are right in front of me. Oh, that's great. I think the only thing that annoys me about the whole darn thing is uh, that stupid light that blinks on when you don't want to <laughs> put your seatbelt on. I but, don't. Yeah, what can you do? That's it. Um, want to grab that map? Yeah, can you hand me the key? Yep. I'm afraid I forgot exactly how to get to where we're going. Okay, just hang on a sec. All right. Now, where are we? I think we're right down here. Okay. Okay, the first thing we have to do is follow this road for about another four or five miles. Okay. Um, we should come up to right around here. There's an exit. Mm -hmm. Pass by that one, and the second exit, we have to take that, and that'll get us on I-95. Okay, which way do we turn? Um, we come off this way. Or turn actu left. Actually turn left, go up there. And that'll put us on to I-95. Okay. Once we're on there, it's just a straight haul. Just stay on that for about 20, 25 minutes, and we should be there. Okay, which way do we have to turn when we get to the exit? Um, 
to get onto the highway or when we get off the highway? When we get off the highway. Um, so let me have a look. That looks like the place we're going, so we have to turn right. Turn right? Yep. Oh, okay, so we go to the highway, we turn right to get onto the highway. Left to get on the highway. Left to get onto the highway. Yep. And we go 20 minutes or so down the highway, then we turn right. Yep, 20, no more than half an hour, anyway. Oh, okay, great. All right. Okay, just as soon as uh, Jennifer gets here, we might as well leave, okay? Yep, sounds good to me. Okay. All right, then. So hang on a sec, I'll get the key back for you. Oh, okay. Here you go, sir. Thank you. Okay. Yep. Okay. Hey. Hey guys, I'm back. How are you doing? Oh, good, good, good. How was the walk? It's beautiful. It is so nice over there. Yeah, did you go far? No, just about five, five feet maybe. And mm -hmm. there's a little ri river. Yeah. And people fishing and relaxing. That sounds pretty cool. Did anybody catch any fish? Did you notice? No, I just noticed them shivering. It's oh, windy. Darren, I was hoping we might have a little fish to take to the picnic with us. Oh, that would have been so fun. So you're sure you don't want to go back and drop a line in and see what you can catch? <laughs> no, I'm not much of a fisherwoman, unfortunately. Oh, well, maybe <laughs> next time we can convince you. Yeah. Um, well, how long do we still have to go? Yeah, Frank and I just had a look at the map, and we figure we have somewhere between 30 and 40 minutes. So it's not bad. Yeah. That's and um, hopefully bad. the wind will die down before we get there. I know. I was really chilled going over there. It's oh. really kind of chilly. I mean, the sun's out and stuff. It's yeah. nice, but... I'm glad I was in the car then where it's warm. <laughs> yeah, you're lucky. But um, maybe we could get something hot to drink. Yeah, I think I have some coffee down in my uh, rucksack in front of me if you would like some. Sure. Coffee's I can get fine. some sandwiches. That would be very good, too. Okay. 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 But... I'll just reach down and grab it. Okay, you guys, I brought some coffee. Um, can you just plug it in there? Oh, it needs to be heated up a bit. Okay, no problem, Michael. Great idea, I must say. Yeah, that I thought maybe. Excellent. I've got a couple cups here and some sugar, so when it's ready, I can pour you guys some. Great, I have some sandwiches to go along with it. Oh my Being god. Being the gourmet that I am. Okay. Let's I see have them. Oh, brought you. those look very tasty. They even have a little bit of gra grass. <laughs> Herbs. <laughs> <The grass. laughs> There you oh, go. Oh, thank rabbit you food. very much, rabbit Jennifer. Food. Well, you're going to have to eat my meat since I am a little rabbit. Oh, okay. Thank you. So I will give you mine. Ooh. Well, are these going to be tasty? Hits the spot when you're driving for yeah, so long. no kidding. However, I think I'll pass the coffee. I don't really like coffee that much. Yeah, sure. Well, yeah, two cups. That's great. Oh, okay, right on. Michael, how about you turn the uh, radio on? Yeah, why not? Oh! Oh. Didn't mean to let it get out of hand like that. Trying to blow my ears off? No, no, no. What kind uh, of radio station is that anyways? I don't know. Easy listening, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> Hits of the 70s and 80s. Oh, God, I know. 60s and 70s, too, maybe. Yeah. Well, it's hard to find a good radio station out here in the country, though. Yeah, I know. Well, I mean, that'll make do. If we can't find anything else, we'll try. Mm -hmm. Maybe find a little country and western. <laughs> Not. I don't think we need that kind of music, that's I for sure. I have no desire for that. Anyway, um, the coffee looks about ready. Oh, great. So... I want some. You sure you don't want any? Oh, that's all right, Michael. Thanks. Okay. One cup for you. Thanks, Mike. Whoa. These are so cute. Cute. They're cute. They're little plastic cups. They're great for traveling. One cup for me. Do you want sugar? No, no. Okay. I'm just I think I will do without too. So is it good coffee? Not bad. Yeah, it's fine. It's kind of there. <laughs> Coffee's coffee. Yeah. Anyway, this not... is. Uh, I don't know. We might not relaxing. get a coffee station for a while. No. Anyway. Should we maybe move on? Yeah, I think it's probably time to go. Okay. I can eat my sandwich on the way there. Yeah, I think so.
morning, sir. Good morning, officer. What was I doing wrong? May I see your license, please? Yes, you may. There you go, officer. You were a bit fast this morning, Mr. Foster. Are you sure about that, officer? Yeah, didn't you see the sign? Oh, what was it? Well, this is a 70 kilometers per hour limit, and you were doing 100. I'm, I'm, sh over it. I'm sure I was doing 70 kilometers an hour. Well, check again. The thing is, uh, well, on those wet roads, especially at this time of the year, it's really slippery and it's dangerous, so... Ugh. You've got to be careful. And, uh, well, especially today, the weather forecast is uh, pretty bad, so uh, I recommend you to be more careful. Officer, I, I'm sure I was doing 70 kilometers an hour. I have to give you a speeding ticket. How much is that going to be for, officer? <clears throat> well, it's $50. First offense. I can't afford fifty dollars though. Here we go. When do I have to pay this by officer? You have forty-eight hours, and uh, you can pay at any police station uh, in the neighborhood. There's no problem. Oh, okay. Okay. So please be attentive on the speed and have a nice day. Yeah, I will, officer. Good. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. See you later. By the way, uh, since uh, you stopped me, you might be able to give me some information. Yeah, please. Do you know of a good restaurant nearby where we can grab some food, maybe? Yeah, actually, there is a really good restaurant. You know that turn over there? Yep. Okay, you turn right. You are going to go on that road for about 10 minutes. And on the left side of the road, there's a little restaurant, Kathy's, and it's really good. Kathy's restaurant? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Thank you very much, officer. Okay, so again, be more attentive on this, well, the speed here. Be I'll, I'll see what I can do, officer. Have a nice day. Thank you very much for the information. See you You're later. I just knew that was gonna happen. Uh, listen, just don't take it too seriously, okay, Frank? You know, it happens. I'm sure I was going 70, though. Yeah, you probably were, but he says you weren't, so you have to take it. You live and you learn. That's right. And, yeah, anyway, it reminds me of a story that I heard once. Okay, there was this guy who was going down the highway, speeding about the same as you were doing, and a motorcycle cop pulls him over and starts writing out a ticket to him. Anyway. Just as he starts writing out the ticket, there's a lady in the back seat. She starts to pipe in with her two cents worth. She's going on about, well, didn't I tell you you were going to get caught? Didn't I? Didn't I, huh? Didn't I? All day long I've been telling you, you've been going through stop signs, you've been ignoring the lights, you haven't paid attention to anything, speeding, everything else. I knew you'd get caught, and look, you got caught. And the cop looks at the guy behind the wheel and says to him, like, who in God's name is that in the back seat? And the motorist just sort of shakes his head and says, look, Officer, it's my wife. You know what can you do? And the officer looks at him, says pretty much with probably more pity than anyone's ever had in his voice in his life. Okay, look, just drive on, pal. You know, just go ahead and may the Lord have mercy on you. Well, what does that have to do with my ticket, though? Well, I don't know. It's just a similar situation. I guess if you'd listened to Jennifer, you might not have been stopped. Well, if you were married, you wouldn't have gotten the ticket in the first place, though. The last thing I need is another ticket or a wife. Yeah, well, anyway, let's not worry about it. What's done is done. You've paid the fine, so we're almost there. And we'll get there, we'll relax, sit by the pool if there is one, and just have a good weekend. Yeah, hopefully I'll forget the whole thing in a couple hours. Yeah, you will. I guarantee it. Okay, good.
Frank, this really looks like a great place. Like, how'd you ever find out about it? One of my associates at work told me about it. He comes here all the time. You're great to have a connection. Well, I tell you, I don't know what I'd do without him. Look at the yeah. beautiful flowers, eh? Trees. What more could you ask for? Well, maybe uh, some good weather while we're here. Other than that, no complaints yet. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> so you happy you came? Oh yeah, this is wonderful. Can't wait to start the weekend off. Yeah, Does this place have some uh, facilities or anything? Oh, of course. There's a yeah. heated pool, a sauna, <laughs> and even Great. a weight room. No way. Okay. I'm happy about that. So, so you brought your bathing suit? I brought mine. Did you guys bring yours? Of course. We're of always course. prepared. Good. So we're all set? Seems to be. Well, how about if you guys grab everything and I'll meet you indoors? Okay. Yep. No problem. Sure. Michael, you want to take care of that check for me, and I'll uh, get you back later for that, uh, okay? You've always been a comedian for as long as I've known you. I think uh, we'll split the bill. Uh, okay, I'll see what I can do. You want this? Be careful, you guys. Those stairs, they look quite steep, but I don't want you to fall down. Okay, see you in there. Hey, you got Jennifer? Frank. No problem. Mm. Thanks, man. No problem at no. all. This is a great relaxation after that hell drive. <laughs> With its little excitements along the way. Yeah. I have to say this is probably one of the most relaxing places I've been in a long time. Mm. So as long as I've known you, it's been your best idea so far. Thanks a lot, Michael. I uh, appreciate the compliment. Hey, not at all. Anytime. These chairs are just so nice. Ah. Hey, I could lay here for six or seven days. Six or seven years, even. <laughs> so relaxing. I noticed when we came in, though, I'm really glad the rain stopped because I noticed downstairs they have a tennis court just on the other side of the hotel here. Mm. And if either of you guys are interested, I'd love to have a game in the morning. Sure, I get some energy back by then. Yeah, well, I hope so. Well, I'd love to. I beat you so bad at golf, I'm sure I could do the same again in tennis. Sure, uh, after I've decided I've had enough of this kind of relaxation, I'll go down and book a court, and uh, it won't be a repeat of the golf, uh, I assure you. We'll see, Michael, we'll see. <laughs> Don't be overconfident. So what are your guys' rooms like? As good as mine? I think so. I've got a nice big double bed TV, VCR, mm -hmm. you know, and a reasonably good view. It's just the forest in behind the hotel, but yeah. still it's cozy, I guess. I have no complaints. Oh, my view is terrific. I look right over the lake. Mm. Oh, it's so beautiful. There's swans swimming. It has got to be the most beautiful view in all the whole county. <laughs> oh. I'll have to come see. I'm on the forest side as well. That might be kind of nice, so you know, open your window or balcony window at night and just maybe hear the wind rustling through the leaves. Yeah. That put you to sleep better than any kind of lullaby. Yeah. That sounds awfully romantic. I think it could be. Are you thinking of getting romantic, maybe? Uh, that possibility always exists, yes. Well, in that case, I think it's time I went for a little drive. Well, you know, I think I'm going to go check out some of the houses around here and see what, uh, you know, what business is like for the real estate agents here. Always on the job, aren't you? That's right. I can't relax more than one or two hours without thinking of business. No, no shame in that. Keeps the mind active. Yes, it does. Well, keep my drink ready for me. Not a problem. I'll be back later. Okay. okay. Enjoy Have the fun. drive. I will. And watch those stairs. Like you said, they can be kind of tricky. Okay, thanks. Okay. That's Frank. Yeah, so any idea what you want to do while he's out? Just sit around here or oh, yeah. go for a walk? Or... Well, maybe we'll just see what else. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Holy Frank, what happened to you? Are you all right, Frank? Tell uh, us what hurts. Is it your leg? It's my left arm. Your left arm, can we touch it or does oh, it no. really hurt? Oh, it's incredible pain. You think it's broken? 
Oh, I'm pretty sure God. I landed right on it. Oh, man. Listen, can you walk? I'm pretty pretty well, groggy right have, now. Never mind that. Give me the keys of the car. It's right in front. I'll go down and get it. Yeah. There's a hospital. Maybe 45 minutes. We'll get you there. Okay. Just okay. one second. Just take it easy. Yeah. Anyway, you just stay with him for now. I'll be Good. back in about five minutes. Good. Okay, oh. Frank, you're going to be okay. You're going to be fine. We're going to get the doctor in five minutes. Just relax. Just relax, okay? Oh, those stairs are so steep. I think yeah. I hit everyone on the way down. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Oh. It happens to the best of us. Mm. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Thank God you're here. Well, mm. tell me if you want me to do anything, okay? But just oh. stay put. Hello, can I help you at all? Yeah, I think you can. My uh, friend here has had a bit of an accident. Right, well, can you tell me what happened? Um. We were staying at a hotel just outside of town, mm -hmm. and uh, he went out for a walk, and it had been raining for three or four hours, and there was a long flight of stairs, and he took a really bad fall down, and I think he's probably broken his arm. Right. Okay. Well, if you'd like to come with me, we'll take, the, take you along to the doctor, who's going to have a look at your arm. Um, you might need an x-ray, and maybe we'll see what we can do about getting you an anesthetic if it's very painful. Okay, that'd be How great. Does that sound to you? Um, if you'd just like to wait here for a minute yeah, um, sure. until we've had the examination and then either I or the doctor will come back and, and tell you what's going to happen. Good. Any idea how long that might take? Um, shouldn't be longer than about five minutes. Great. That's okay. fine. So you, you want me to hold that? Yeah. Sure. Michael, please. Okay. Take it very easy if you can just carry your arm. Okay? Just take care, buddy. It'll be all all right. Doctor, this is Mr. Forster. Um, I think you should take a look at his, his arm. He seems to be in quite a lot of pain. I think he might have broken it. I'm not quite sure how it happened, but um, I'll, I'll leave him to you. OK, thank you, nurse. Right, Mr. Forster. Yes, sir. Frank Forster. OK. Right. If you'd like to put your arm on the table, please. OK. Thank you. Right. How did this happen? Well... We were at this country inn, and I was going outside, and it was raining for the last four or five hours, as you probably know, and I got to the top of the stairs, and I think there was this piece of moss there or something. I wasn't paying attention, mm -hmm. and before I knew it, I fell down every one of those stairs. I think I hit everyone, and then I landed on my arm. Ooh. Okay, can you flex your fingers for me, please? Okay. Can you scrunch them up? Uh, not much farther than that, Doctor. Mm. That's painful, is it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. What about bending your wrist? Can you turn your wrist at all? Mm. No. Okay. What about the elbow? Can you bend at the elbow at all for me? Uh, doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Painful, yes. Yeah, very painful. How long have you been in this pain? Uh, it was about a one hour drive, and it was about a half hour before that, so it's about an hour and a half. Ah, uh, okay. Right, you can. Oh, thank like. you. Oh. Take it into your, into your chest. I think that way it'll be less painful for you. Okay, thank you. Oh, yes, Doctor. It's much better. Now, what about the shoulder? It's, it's quite, quite painful. I think it might be. Mm. Does that help? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right. It looks to me as if you've possibly dislocated your arm and almost definitely got a fracture lower down. I'll arrange for the nurse to come and take you away to x-ray and also to dress the wounds. Uh -huh. um, now, is, is the pain causing you a lot of trouble? Would you like some kind of injection? Because we could arrange for that to be done as well. Yes, please, doctor. Maybe a little painkiller or something like that. Okay. Yeah, that can certainly be done. Now, what about, did you mention something about a friend? Uh, yes, a friend of mine, uh, uh, Mr. Michael Coy. He's uh, out in the lobby, I believe. Uh, he drove me here. Maybe if you spoke to him and told him how long I'd be, he would, he would appreciate that. 
I'll have a word with him right away. Okay, I'll just call the nurse. Nurse? Hello. I think he's possibly dislocated his shoulder and almost right. definitely got a fracture lower down. Okay. If you could arrange for him to have a slot with x-ray mm -hmm. and have that looked at and dress the wounds, that would be excellent. Okay. He's in quite a lot of pain. Yeah. So if you give him an injection to ease the pain, right. that would right. be very helpful. Okay, if you'd like to come along uh, with me, I think we can probably fit you in with x-ray straight away. Can you stand, okay? Yes. Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll take you straight down to have an anaesthetic as soon as possible. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. Foster, and don't worry. I'll see you in a minute, and I'll let your friend know what's happening. Mr. Coy? Mr. Coy, hello. hello. I'm Frank's doctor, Philippa Corston. Nice to meet you. He's just come out of x-ray, and it looks as if he has a compound fracture to the lower arm, and he's dislocated his shoulder. Okay, so how long is he going to have to stay here? Any idea? Um, we reckon about a week, but we'll have to see how it goes. Okay. Would it be possible for me to go in and see him right now? At the moment, he's having the bones set. Um, I think it would be better if you could come tomorrow. Visiting hours between 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. Okay, well, if I can't go in now, would you be able to take to him his sweater, please? He left it out here with me. Yes, certainly. That's and right. if I come tomorrow, would it be okay to bring another friend in, or would you say that maybe that's not a good idea? No, that's fine. Okay. That's fine. Then could you also tell him that um, I wish him all the best? And that Jennifer and I'll be in tomorrow to see him. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Right. Thank you very much. Good. Mr. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. I think the more important question, though, is how are you doing? You're the one with the injured arm. Well, uh, I'm doing pretty well. You know, a little stiff, a little bit of pain. Mm. But the doctor didn't have to put me in surgery, so I feel, you know, a lot better than I would. It's good. I actually ran into the doctor downstairs, and she said your recovery's coming along smoothly. And she said that you've been acting like a trooper through the whole thing, which, you know, mm. doesn't surprise me a bit. <laughs> and, you know, I guess probably within a month, your golf swing's going to be good as new. Oh, I hope so. I get so bored in here. Wished I had some music to listen to or, you know, even a little video game to play a little video golf on yeah. or something. I see you've got a TV there. I guess there's not much exciting on it. Well, you can only watch so much TV in the run of the day before you get really bored. Yeah, I guess so. Listen, uh, Michael, bring me some news or tell me what's going on in the real world. I can't really think of much of anything. I did stop by your place today, though, and your mother gave me some mail for you. It's, it's in my bag. I'll get it out for you in a couple minutes. Oh, great. And other than that, you know, I made a date with Jennifer. A date with Jennifer? Yeah, well, listen, don't get too excited. It's just, uh, you know, it's when I say date, I mean it's to come over here together to see you. Now, don't let on that you know, okay, because okay. she still wants it to be a surprise. Just keep it all calm, and we'll stop in tomorrow. Oh, great. I thought my friends were going to neglect me or something. Never. Come on. We're better than that. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I see that you were asleep, so I think I'll let you get back to sleep. I have a lot of work to do anyway, so I'm going to take off, and we'll be by tomorrow afternoon. Okay, okay. well, thank you very much for dropping by. Listen, no problem. You just take care of yourself, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll see you tomorrow afternoon. Okay, just drop my mail off right at the door on the table when you way out, please. Sure, can do. Okay? Okay. Thanks for coming by. No problem. See you later. See you. Hey, Jennifer, I'm glad you made it, finally. Yeah, yeah. Did you uh, have to wait a long time? No, I've only been here 10 or 15 minutes. Oh, okay, good, good. I was just trying to find parking, actually. Yeah, it's hard to find around here this time of day. Yeah, nothing around the block. I've parked like three blocks away. Yeah. So, 
What was this call about? Well, I have a suggestion concerning Frank, and I'd kind of like your advice before I do anything. Uh -huh. And I thought maybe you'd like to sort of go along and help me out a bit. Sure, sure. Wouldn't mind at all. The only thing is, um, how long do you think it would take? Probably 30, maybe 45 minutes. No longer. Right. Yeah? Oh, that sounds fine. It's just that I have a, a hairdresser appointment mm -hmm. in about 10 minutes. Right. And yeah. how long is that going to take? So it'll be about an hour. That's not too bad. I mean, I've got an errand or two I can run while you're doing that. Yeah? So do you want to meet back here in an hour? Okay, that sounds good. Yeah, why don't okay. we meet back here and then we'll go and do some of the secret business of ours. <laughs> okay, well, I'll let you know about it as soon as we're back here. Okay, Okay, great. well, let's go. Sure. Hi. Hi, how can I help you? I need some aspirin. Um, what exactly was it for? I have a bit of a headache. It's kind of right around my temple. Right. I can recommend two th things. The first is regular aspirin. Okay. Secondly, we have ibuprofen, which is a little stronger than the aspirin and what won't make you quite so tired. Right. Okay, that sounds like exactly what I need. Right. So I'll Great. take that. How much is it? That's three dollars. Okay, good. Okay. Um, and could you tell me what's in this box up here? This one just here? Yeah, that's it. That's uh, vitamin C. It will supplement your diet. Okay. Um, basically, vitamin C is at its best when um, you, you're not, your diet's not quite good enough if you're not getting enough um, vegetables, fruit. Uh -huh. um, basically, it'll pick you up if you're feeling down. Okay, that sounds good. Right. I, you have, I was going to ask if you had anything with a supplement more than vitamin yeah, C. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. Oh, great. We have vitamin C with calcium, which is even better because calcium will supplement your bones, teeth, it's good right. for the skin, etc. Okay, so it kind of just prolongs life in general. <laughs> that's right. Okay, and that costs? Unfortunately, that's seven dollars for a hundred. Okay. You take them twice a day with meals. Okay, it's a bit expensive, but it sounds like it's worth it. So I'll take both of those. That, that's great. It'll be ten dollars in all, exactly. Okay. I'll just put those in a bag for you. Great, thanks. There you go, $10. Thank you. Good. Thank Have you. a nice day. Thanks, you too. Hey, Kitty. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? Good, good. I'm back again, though. Three weeks it's been now, hasn't it? Yeah. How's your hair been keeping? Well, that's why I'm here, actually. I'm not really too sure about it. You're not happy with it? No. What's I the problem? Well, I feel like it's pretty it's pretty dry at the end. You know, we got a trim last okay. time, but maybe, I don't know, maybe I was thinking we could get a little bit more. Yeah, okay, we didn't trim much off last time, yeah. though, so maybe a little bit more. Yeah. And uh, how about some treatment? Well, that sounds, you know, I'm going, um... I'm going to a friend's house tonight, oh. so I'd like to look a little bit, a little bit special. Special, yep. yeah. I was Understood. thinking of maybe one of your great massages. Uh, and, uh, shampoo massage. Yeah. Another yeah. thing I was thinking about, I don't know, I mean, it, it because it is quite dry, a hot oil treatment. Oh, you, you don't think? know what that is? No, what? I've never had one of those. You just you just put the hot oil, it's hot oil, in into the hair, mm -hmm. massage it. And leave it for an hour. And it yeah. revitalizes your hair. And oh, great! And makes it, that makes sounds it pretty really good. nice. Okay, yeah. does that take a long time or it's an hour? An hour. That'll take an hour. Oh. So if we wash it, hot oil it. Well, we'll trim it first. Wash it, hot oil it. Okay. And then you're ready. You don't want a different style of hair. Well, what do you think? Do you think it? Would... Well, it depends. Depends entirely what you want. But yeah. Well, I'm just. I'm not sure about the bangs and stuff. Like, well, we've discussed this before, haven't we? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, you don't think you'd like your suit fringe? Yeah, I'm not really sure, and I'm, I don't really like my hair back all that much. It. What do you so think? So I think I know. You obviously don't want it, so we should just keep it long, and get it into a bit of a better condition. Yeah. And and that's it. The shampoo as well makes a big difference. What shampoo do you use? Well, I just go to the regular drugstore and, and just, just buy get, any old yeah. thing off the shelf. But we have this shampoo here, which I'd recommend. It's what I, I usually shampoo your hair with. Ah, Swallow Professional. Okay. So, um, yeah. Is 
and the conditioner in the same the same make. Oh, okay. So you guys just sell that there at the cash? Yep, the you cash? sell it, you can pick it up as oh, you go good. out. So it's for dry hair? That's for dry hair, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, maybe I'll in the long term have some good effect on it because, yeah, I don't like it too much. Okay, so we trim it, hot oil it, and then you can go to your party. Thank you. Okay? Great. Jennifer, I'm glad you made it back. Yeah, I did actually very well. My uh, hairdressing appointment went. Yeah, I was just gonna say it looks really nice. Yeah. I uh, think they did a very good job. Yeah, then nothing major, no drastic changes, but it was good. It didn't take too long, and the hairdresser is right across the street from my house, so yeah. I went in for a sec and yeah. made it back right on time. That you did. Yeah. How did your errands go? Pretty good. I got them all done. I went to the pharmacy, had a couple things to pick up there, and. Then just kind of window shop for a while. Ah. Nothing super serious. Yeah. So, did you see Frank yesterday or lately at all? Yeah, I have talked to him. He should be getting out of the hospital in about a day. Ah. And you have no idea how happy he is about that. <laughs> and, know. Um, you know, that was the whole reason for asking you down here today. Was mm -hmm. because he's invited us to his place. Kind of as a welcome home party for himself. We'll just sit down, relax a bit, have some food, a little bit of drink. and That sounds like fun. You know, good times night. with good friends. Um, I'm not exactly sure when, within the next couple of days, anyway. Okay. And that was my second reason for bringing me down here, was to ask your advice on some stuff. I thought I'd like to get him a gift to welcome him, welcome him home. Ah, well, let's see, what could we get him? I've got an idea. Why mm -hmm. don't we get him something from an electronic store that's it's just down at the beginning of that next block. Yeah. Do they carry uh, Sony and uh, stuff like that? Yeah. Akai? Those yeah. are pretty good names. They have Yamaha, Sony. And no um, I was thinking maybe, you know, we could get him a Walkman or a Ghetto Blaster of some sort. Yeah. That sounds about right. I know he doesn't have anything like that. You think maybe he'd some, like... Yeah. Maybe a radio with some, well, if we find one anyway, CD capability. Uh, no, if, if not, at least tape to tape. Yeah. I think yeah. he'd like that. Yeah. Maybe we could even make him a tape or something. All right. If we get very ambitious. <laughs> <laughs> Which we probably won't. Yeah. But, yeah, well, since it seems we've decided, why don't we head down there and have a look? Yeah, sounds good. Let's okay. do it. Okay, Jennifer, here's the radio I chose for Frank. It has everything, I think, dual tape deck, and it's got the radio. I used to have one just like it a few years ago, and it runs great for a long time. I really think it's the perfect gift for him. Jennifer, Michael, thank you very much for the great present. Oh, uh, you like it? Oh, I've needed to get a blast for so long, and it's a beautiful one at that. Well, it's the least we could do for you, having to spend so much time in the hospital. <laughs> you know, it's great too, you know, two tape decks here, you can do tape to tape dubbing and uh, just make all your own mixes, anything you want. Oh, tremendous. It's almost worth breaking my arm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. How is it doing anyway? Oh, not too bad. Michael, could you put that on the ground? Sure. Please? It's uh, still a little weak, but I, you know, a little bit more movement now. Yeah. Doctor says within two months or so I should be back to normal. Yeah, Good. so you'll have, what, full use or only partial, do you think? Full use. I'll be able to play golf right away. Right away. But that means I'm still going to have to look for the next two months for a new golf partner. Unfortunately so. Frank, you let me down, buddy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. Well, I guess I'll live. Well, it must be nice to be back home, though. Oh, it is, especially of such good friends. <laughs> it's awfully nice of you to say. But you got to admit, this must be a little more comfortable than spending all that time in the hospital. Well, the hospital wasn't that bad. You know, the food was great. And they were really, really professional and competent staff. Mm -hmm. That's nice to hear. They seemed it when I met them. They were really polite mm -hmm. and really uh, friendly. Oh, they went out of their way to make me feel totally at home. Great. Mm, that's good. Well, here's toast. OK. 
Okay. To your newfound health. Oh, thank and you. And hopefully you will not be falling down many stairs. And, and let doing there, this again. Let there be no broken bones in your future. <laughs> That's right. Cheers. 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 Well, what do you guys say we turn on the television and see what's up? Yeah, I could do that. Okay. Good idea. Oh, cool. Aerobics is on. Hey, guys. You like aerobics? My favorite sport. I do aerobics almost every day. I love it. Really? I'm going to the disco. It's great music. You can dim the lights. You just work. work Probably up a sweat. good for you, but would you call it a sport, Frank? I'm not quite sure. I think uh, hockey is more of a sport myself. I guess I'd have to tend to agree. How about the, the Stanley Cup playoffs that are going on right now? I don't know. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna put my money on Boston this year. They're looking pretty good. I don't know. Montreal's got a solid team this year. Remember the game I was at Montreal versus Quebec? Yeah. Oh, tremendous match. They had this Russian fella, Valery Kamensky, mm -hmm. playing for Quebec. Tremendous hockey. Isn't player. he supposed to be kind of uh, the Russian equivalent to Gretzky? That's what they say. They call him the Russian Gretzky. No way. Yeah. He plays on the line with Owen Nolan mm -hmm. and Matt Sundin from Sweden. Tremendous line. They're going to dominate the league for the next five to ten years, I'm sure. Of it. You think? Oh, yeah. Even though Quebec's been hitting the basement the last three or four years, you think they'll uh, improve a bit? Well, Quebec's team is no good, but that line is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> that one line can't carry a team, pal. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's still, it's still nice to watch them play. Yeah. Beautiful hockey players. Beautiful. So what other Russians are in the league right now, anyway? I know there's a few. But I, I can't remember any of their names. There's a young guy for Detroit, uh, Sergei Fedorov. Mm -hmm. Beautiful hockey player. And there's uh, the three older fellows who came over originally. Sergei Makarov, Igor Larionov, mm -hmm. and Vladimir Krutov. Good hockey players. They used to play for Red Army, didn't they? Yeah, they played for uh, yeah, Central Red Army. Yeah, that's what I thought. Aren't there any Canadians on this team? Oh, lots of Canadians, <laughs> lots of Canadians. Lots of Americans, too. Oh, really? It's amazing how the uh, National Hockey League has become a veritable international hockey league the last 10 years or so. Oh, yeah. nice play on words there, pal. <laughs> no problem at all, Michael. No. So did you guys get a hockey pool going in the hospital there? Yeah, me and some of the uh, the boys in, on the ward, we had a little pool going. I think I'm going to win all the money. I put my money in Montreal. Ah. Never, never. It's not going to happen. Oh, well, we'll see. Uh, I guarantee Boston. Is it yeah. uh, the cycling season starting up soon? Yeah, well, actually, it started about a month ago with some of the uh, smaller tours through Italy and Spain and mm -hmm. uh, a couple in the States. And uh, Tour de France should be getting underway in about a month and a half, I guess. I'm really looking forward to that because uh, I do a little recreational cycling on my own. Oh, do you? Well, I don't have the time or, or the money or even the uh, dedication to do it professionally, but it's a lot of fun. And it would be interesting to see if Greg LeMond could uh, repeat. He's won three times before. He didn't win it last year, so try and think for a sec. Some uh, Spanish fellow, maybe? Yes, I think it was. I can't remember his name, but there's some tremendous no, cyclists from I. Europe, isn't there? Yeah, and uh, if they change the route just enough and they get a little more through the mountains this year, maybe even the uh, Canadian Steve Bauer can do a little something this year because he's a good hill climber. Mm -hmm. Kind of loses it on the flats, but... Well, there's this tremendous Irishman, too, uh, Sean Kelly. Yeah. Oh, great cyclist, great yeah. cyclist. No, it's, uh, oh, I, I can't wait. I'm really looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I've never been there to see it. Mm -hmm. I always have to do it, you know, through the TV. Yeah. But. That would be fun to go. Well, I'm more into mountain biking. Yeah. I feel so insecure on the little tiny race bike wheels. Oh. Uh, they're nothing so to worry about. You get used no? to it. Do you have any good trails around here to do your mountain biking on? Oh, yeah. There's lots. There's, there's tons of trails around. I go sometimes with my dogs. <laughs> they chase after me. It's fun. That sounds like yeah. a good time, Jennifer. Yeah. Do you yeah. belong to a club, or you just go out on your own? Oh, I don't know. I just got I just got a bike a couple years ago. Yeah. So just since then, yeah, yeah it's good. fun. But, but mostly, I do do aerobics because it's so quick and easy, and you just go there for an hour, and you, you know, get the best cardiovascular workout, and they work on all your muscles, and it's excellent. I just love it. Maybe I should try doing some of that and get in yeah. shape for cycling too. You guys should. I don't Go think so, though. <laughs> yeah, too sissy. Guys sissy. find it really hard to do. It's hard. I don't know. Maybe I'll give it a go once or twice before I decide if it's that hard. <laughs> Maybe not. Well. Actually, 
I have a little surprise for you guys. A surprise? Yeah. No way. I'm gonna go get it. Okay. Okay, guys, this is for you. Thanks. You're what welcome. Take a look and see. You are cordially invited to the 10th anniversary of the Excelsior Club. May 25th, 7.30 p.m., 30 Main Street. What exactly is the Excel Club? I'm afraid I can't tell you a thing about it. Well, you know, is it a place we go to dance, a place we go to eat, have dinner, what? You can... Tell us a little bit. Well, I'm afraid I'm going to have to keep my lips completely sealed, and you will have to go and find out for yourselves. Are you guys free in a couple of days? I'm I, free. I have no plans. Good, so good. So I guess that means we're there. <laughs> Great. Well, Frank, I'm going to have to thank you for this wonderful, wonderful evening. Enjoy myself thoroughly, but I'm going to have to go home. Okay, well, I really enjoyed your company tonight. Good. Well, I guess if she's calling a night, I'll uh, pack it in too, buddy. Thanks very much for a good evening. And oh. I'll see you soon sometime. Thank you, Michael, for coming over. No problem. <laughs> Too. I'm sure I memorized that address. Right. Did you bring the card with you? I forgot the invitation. But it was Main Street. It was Main Street. It was this address. This is Main Street. I don't tell you what, why don't you check in that door over there? I've seen a few people go in. Maybe somebody can tell you something there. Okay, great. Ah, oh, looks like I see a couple of women over there. Maybe you could ask them for a little advice too. Sure, no problem. If you find anything out, give me a call. Okay, call okay. me if you get anything yeah, too. Yeah, sure. Um, could you, I'm trying to find a place called the Excelsior Club. It's a nightclub, I think. Have you ever heard of it? Never. Excelsior. Never. Excelsior. Yeah, well, a friend of mine and I got an invitation to go there, and it's supposed to be on Main Street, this address. This is Main Street? Yeah, and this address is the one that's written on the invitation. I think you got the wrong town. Um, no, I'm pretty sure I have the right <laughs> town, but... Main Street? Uh, yeah. You haven't heard of a restaurant Excelsior or a bar or something that has that name? There's Excelsior. no restaurant, no nightclub, no bar I've ever, okay. never heard. I've lived here okay. all my life. Right. And I've, I've Just never hang on a sec. My friend has the invitation. I'll give him a call. Okay, okay, then. Frank! Come here for a minute. The Excelsior Club? No. Never heard of it. I can't even think of a name that might even be similar. I just Hi. Hello? asked these two ladies and they said they've never even heard of a name like Excelsior. Never. Never even like Excelsior, I mean. Excelsior Club, restaurant, bar, never heard of it. Main Street, you sure? Yeah, I'm positive it's Main Street, and I'm positive it's this address. You're positive it's this town? I'm pretty positive it's this yeah, town. I, I thought I cleared that one out. I'm pretty sure we had the right town. Yeah. No, well, we might as well just go in and check it out anyway and see what... Well, they were saying they don't know exactly what they're talking about. Yeah. Apparently these lovely young women are <clears throat> too sure about their town. Apparently well, not. thank you. I've lived here all my life. I know everyone. Hey, hey, he's just being sarcastic. Don't take offense. We'll go okay. and check. Okay. Anyway, let's go. Okay. Sorry, we couldn't no, be it's out. okay. Thanks. How do you find it? Thank you very much. Thanks. Okay. Bye. I'm as confused as you are. It's the Excelsior Club. Yeah, and it's Main Street. And it's 7.30. Everything is as it should be. Except there's aerobics going on. I don't understand this. No. no Was Jennifer I mean, like this? Did she play jokes like this in uh, high school? Well, when we were in school together all the time. I mean, the two of us were big pranksters. That's all we did. But, uh, you know, when she knows that we're expecting dinner, I can't see her doing something like this. She's gone too far this time. I think she has. But you know, anyway, instead of bothering her right now, why don't we just go have a seat and oh, okay. talk to her in a bit. Okay, great. Jennifer? Hey, you guys came. Yeah, but I don't suppose you could maybe explain what's going on here? 
Well, it's an aerobics class. This is my gym. Okay. And uh, we're just obvious. having a, a bit of a workout. Yeah. And so you are invited, officially, and okay. cordially. I kind of thought we were going to dinner. Uh, I mean, I was so psyched for a little bit of food and some dancing. I didn't even eat lunch today. Well, we've got music. Started. We've got facilities to make you nice, strong, healthy, and feel just great. Better than you would after eating a piece of steak at a big dinner. No, I don't know about that. <laughs> really? Well, really? my arm's a little sore, though, Jennifer. Well, you know, actually, it would be really, really good for it if I showed you this exercise to do with some elastics. Because um, you need to get the muscle back in it. You probably haven't used it for a while. So it'd be even better than... You know, not doing anything. Yeah, but oh, okay. I, I didn't even bring anything to wear for this. You're... you're what? You mean like you're this? You're dressed? For sure. You've got to be kidding. Look at the way everyone else is dressed. Oh, everyone's dressed in however they want to. There's no dress code. Oh, you guys okay. So I'll just get all sweaty in my good clothes and... Okay. And then we'll go to some cheesy <laughs> joint and... Uh, <laughs> some dinner. How's that? Well, we're here. We might as well. Might as well. It's all right with me, Michael. Okay. Yeah, fine. Okay. Okay. Let's go then. Let's do it.